If you all thought fucking UNISG was cursed. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no. No. We sinners? No. <laughs> They're gonna wanna try again. And read the fucking title. They're gonna wanna read the title. <laughs> what does zombified mean? It means I'm a fucking zombie. It means I'm dead. It means my guy is a zombie faction. I'm a more pathetic monolith, essentially. I am, I am deeply fucked. Loser POV. So like how UNISG is friends with mercenaries. The only guys that zombies are friends with are Monolith. Only Monolith. Everyone else hates them. That's that's the thing of zombie. And sin? Yeah, that's like fucking counting on being fucking like seeing a renegade out there, dude. Yeah, I'm definitely fixated on the fact that sin's out there watching my back. Yeah, I'm out here fucking wondering where sin is, dude. Let me just climb. I'll keep an eye out for them if I'm at Red Forest. Renegades are pretty common in Swamp. Yeah, but they're subhuman. Chat, renegades are subhuman. They they literally like have like guns that don't work. Like I when I see renegades, I throw a grenade at them. Like I throw a grenade at them and then laugh. They're they're weaker than bandits. They're so pathetic. I hate them. I hate them. That's why monoliths stay on top. Look, I want to, I've been wanting to play Gamma again and Stalker again. I wanted to do Warfare, but unfortunately Gamma does not really support Warfare, neither does really Anomaly. I tried to set up a mod pack that someone else made off of Gamma, but uh, it's very alpha, and as a result of that, pretty much every 30 seconds, the poor guy is like, Oh, something's wrong! Download this new script, please! And they're trying really hard, but boy oh boy, uh, I did everything right, I followed their instructions, and when I launched it, it said that the matches, as in, like, matches used to light fires were mitch like mismatched, and I was just like, I don't think that's working anytime soon. Is Stalker like Escape from Tarkov? <laughs> yeah, kinda. Are monoliths good guys or bad guys? Monoliths are not good guys. But here's what I'm thinking, chat. Warfare might not work perfectly, but there are things I'm going to change about the game's balance because I'm playing a faction that shouldn't exist. Okay, this isn't UNISG where like there is a purpose to me. I am playing a faction that should not exist. So I've, I, I'm going to kind of in real time balance some things around. Uh, for instance, stealth kills are on. If I kill someone with a silenced weapon and no one fucking sees it, no one's gonna know. All right, that that shit happened. We're doing, we're doing some balancing around it because I'm playing with Iron Man still. I'm gonna have limited lives. And I'm going to be... Basically hated by everyone. 
Monoliths don't really wander as much as mercs do, so you don't really have as... I would say you have less... It feels like you probably have less friends like a zombie than you do as UNISG. So we're gonna have to see. What faction are you going to play? You gotta read the title. <laughs> you gotta read the title. It's not, it's not like a bit. It's not a joke. That's literally not a joke. That's not like, that's not me like mistyping something. So I drown out whenever people ask you about Tarkov Tomato, but do you not play Tarkov on stream because of the backseating? Well, it's that and also the fact that if I die in this, people don't go, holy shit, you suck so bad. You like choke, cringe. Uh, in Tarkov, that would happen 24 fucking seven because it's a multiplayer game and I don't really want to enjoy the toxicity of that being brought onto my stream, to be honest. So uh, yeah, I don't really, it just doesn't really uh, make much sense to me. To be fair, I wouldn't usually consider zombie to be a faction. Not my problem. It's... Look, I can only label the stream how I label the stream, and I can only label it how the game displays it. And zombies are a fucking faction. You'll see. I ain't, I ain't bluffing. <laughs> Can you play as the Snorkel faction? You mean the Snark? The Snork? The jumpy guys? Nah, you can't play as them. And unfortunately, they will not like me. Are you friendly with zombies? Yeah. <laughs> yes. That is uh, that is the one good thing. Zombies do like me. That's, that's the one bonus I get. To my knowledge, only the, the zombies with guns, though. To my knowledge. This is cool and all, streamer, but what the fuck is a zombie? <sighs> Chat. I... I've only half set up my new PC organization. Okay, there have been some highs and some lows over the last three days, which would, I think, bring any man to his knees and then just start crying and sobbing. Uh, I found out when my new PC arrived, they installed it with Windows 11. Why didn't you fucking tell me that was going to happen? Chat. Why didn't someone fucking tell me? It's your fault. Fuck you, dude. You know what Windows 11 doesn't even fucking have anymore? You can't even drag the taskbar to another monitor. You can't do that anymore. You can't do that, dude. Whatever the main monitor is, that's where the fucking taskbar is, baby. That's where it is, dude. That's an improvement, man! So, I guess we have the taskbar on the screen when I'm doing shit from now on. That is the most literal downgrade I've ever experienced in my whole life. If I want to move the taskbar to the top of my monitor, which I, well, yeah, weird, kind of like, I like it when my fucking taskbar is on the top of my vertical portrait monitor that I have on the fucking right side of my main monitor for games. And I can't do that without going into the fucking registry. I have to go into the fucking registry. I have to edit a registry file to do that. My brother in Christ look up Explorer Patcher. Oh, I'm aware of fixes, but hey, I shouldn't fucking need to, my guy, my brother in Christ. I shouldn't fucking need to. Holy shit, did Boone get you onto this? LMFAO? Motherfucker, I got Boone onto this. <laughs> I got Boone onto this. 
All right, the UNISG thing, I was out there a year ago doing it with permadeath three life Iron Man. That was me. I'm the guy. I'm, I'm the stalker gamma. I don't want to say I'm the stalker because like really contextually without this game being around, that's not a good look. That's not, that's not good to detach. I'm the guy, all right? I'm John Stalker. <laughs> SEO suicide. Yeah, no, it's not good. It's not good. Dude, I honestly though, like I swear the second that a good, easy to install thing for Gamma or Anomaly that really fixes up warfare and makes it work well and makes it fun, I do want to fucking actually give that a go. Because, like, the thing I was looking at, chat, was, like, I wanted to install a mod that would fix up Warfare a little bit more than it already is with, like, patches and stuff, and then play the zombie faction on that. And basically be a bunch of fucking... Like, because like, the thing is, if you play Warfare and you control the zombies in, on your PDA... They run, dude. Like, they switch from walking zombie style to full mad dash sprinting. The second you tell them to go somewhere, they'll slow back down once they arrive. So you kind of set up... You kind of... Like, I can technically do it. But, like, it doesn't really work perfectly. And it's too much min... It's too much, like... Clunky bullshit with, uh... The, like, you know... It's just too much clunky bullshit. It's just not there yet, which is a shame because I think it's a really creative and interesting game mode. It's just too much micromanagement. The AI doesn't really think for themselves enough on your team because they want you to command them. But like the PDA is so fucking clumsy to use on that map. But yeah, we're going to be basically everything that I would never set on a single player game that I want to last a while is instead set. Okay. Dynamic faction relations on, okay? It's on, motherfucker. It's on. I am going to make these people fucking hate. Everyone's gonna hate each other by the end of this game, dude. I swear to God, because I'm dressing up. I'm dressing up in disguises. Oh, there is one thing that I am. Uh... There is one thing that I am spawning in as zombie faction. Uh, I'm going to spawn in the basic tools. I'm going to spawn in basic tools and basic drug making kit. Uh, those things are being added in. I don't feel like hunting those down. We're adding those two to my character right away. Uh, because of my faction. It's just, it's just, for the sake of fun, I've done this enough. I've played enough Gamma. There are certain things that are just quality of life for me at this point. I've, d like, it, the, the only way you really get them is stashes. And our exposure to people that can provide us with stashes are so much more limited because we're playing a micro faction that uh, we're just going to give ourselves those, especially as an Iron Man. How are you talking to people as a zombie? Monolith is technically allied to zombies. And while I am legally zombie, my character is still behaving as if they are a human. As in, I should be able to still converse with Monolith. I should. Now, that might be fail RP. Simultaneously. Okay. And this was something I wanted to alter, but I can't. Um... My character is still very susceptible to radiation. You would think not. You'd think as a guy who soaked up so much bad shit, he'd be good. He re he does pretty much die just like anyone else to radiation. So, uh... I mainly just sit on a hard mode where zombies are cool with me. I'm on, I'm on a very hard version. I'm on a harder version of, like, the Sin faction, essentially. Elephant's foot difficulty. My guy basically sat on it, but only for a minute. 
fake ass zombie. You're not a zombie. You're just ugly. Chat, you guys need to relax. <laughs> you, guys, you guys need to relax, okay? Relax for a minute. Chill. All right. 2023, relax. Now, 2023's official tagline is 2023, it's all your fault. It's your fault. 2023, it's your fault. It's your fault. That's, that is it. That's it. I miss Gnome Mercy. Dude. Yeah. No, I don't. Get over it. It's dead. Get over it, man. I do know for a fact my zombie characters spawn with the Psy helmet that protects us from having our brain melted from the Psy stuff. So I am immune to some of the bullshit. I do know that. We're playing Accessible Zone. I'm going to be able to actually go anywhere I want. And we're probably going to stick to the northern parts of the map anyways because I want to do new things. Uh, immune to control. Uh, I don't know what I'm fucking immune to. You think I tested this for 40 minutes? You think I- you think I was out here fucking doing, like, elaborate testing? No. Wrong. No. Zombie but human in every way. I- okay, what I really am is a human that, like, did the thing in Walking Dead where you cover yourself with zombie guts. Okay? Except it's permanent. And people won't let me hang out with them because I stink so bad. Okay? That's what's happening. That's me. That's what I actually am. I'm a fallout ghoul. Stinky. <sighs> you just wouldn't understand. You just wouldn't understand. You'd never understand. So I, the good news is on this new PC, I am on a, my PC is now uh, running on that, that, that 4090. So this is also a test stream to see if my PC explodes, which will be really fun. You guys will probably laugh if that happens. Uh, we're on the new, the new hardware, but uh, it might explode. We all just have to pray to God it doesn't. All right, because I have so many fire hazards in my office. I've just got dangling, like, I got dangling stuff all over the place. I hang toilet paper all over all the walls. I got this, I, I, I like to keep firewood right next to the PC because I like it warm. I like it, I like the firewood warm. It lights up faster when it goes directly into the fireplace, which I also have next to my bed, which is also like conveniently, I have like a, a big old string of like uh, Tinder just like leading all the way to it and from it, kind of like scattering all over the ground. Twenty twenty three insurance hustling. Yeah, I mean, it's just like. Look, man, it actually it's been pretty warm. I put a blanket on my PC so it doesn't get cold at night. Yeah. I assume PCs work like batteries. If they get too cold, they drain faster, right? That's how, that's how, that's how this stuff works. We gotta keep them warm. Dude, I actually, I opened up my P, the new PC, and there's actually something kind of unhinged with it that pissed me off. Um, hey, uh, so no beans. Yeah, there were no beans, which was honestly okay. I can get those myself. It's very easy to open this PC tower. And there was a lot of fucking space for beans. Uh, because, um, 
I ha I ordered like two drives to come with it. I always send like I always have them put two drives in, like one for C drive and then one for like basic stuff I want on the PC. But then I usually put in two of my own. And I was gonna transfer stuff from the game PC that's currently in the other room. It's gonna be moved in here again when it replaces the one I used to stream. But uh, when I opened it up, I realized they used the fucking drives that go right into the motherboard. Yeah, like you know those ones, like the hard drive, the SSDs that go directly into the motherboard. Okay, fine. There ain't no fucking shelves or anything to put any other drives in. There ain't nothing else there. There's literally no infrastructure to put other drives in. They didn't give me drive bays. Ain't no way I open this thing and there's no sp the. I gotta email these people and be like, dude, you guys have never let me down. You better tell me that if there are drives in this thing with this 4090, the 4090 is gonna explode. That better be fucking why. That better be why. Check the backside. I should. It was just like, I could have had everything set up, like including the new PC, like, and the game one, like everything rotated out properly. But like, I, one of the things I do transfer is an HDD drive. So it was like, I, I did want it. In the PC. So even if the back panel thing has them, I'm also still like, I would have liked a tray for my HDD. I, I don't know. I'm gonna have to open the other side. I didn't have much time to check that stuff. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see. We'll have to see, man. It's definitely got, it's got something. It's just like, it shocked me because it basically makes it look like the PC is empty, aside from a giant fucking brick. <laughs> Someone shoved a brick in the PC and they didn't even have the decency to fill it with beans. They didn't even have the decency to fill it with beans or any kind of like, sauce. I would have like been okay with finding an animal in there. That would have been fun. If, like a little rat was in there and we said like, hey, and we hung out. I would have, that would have been fine too. But nothing, I got nothing. I didn't get a surprise. No surprise, just this big ass fucking hole in my PC where things would normally be. What about like a little guy? If there was like a borrower creature inside my fucking PC, I'm snapping its neck like I've established a hundred times before. A hundred times before. Instantly. It's on sight. It's on sight. <laughs> Fucking end that shit now. That would be bad. Windows 11 is extremely toxic to rats. It's so bad. Chat. The one saving grace is that no matter what the operating system is on this, I use a fucking capture card to send it out, all right? I don't need to... So, all this PC needs to do is play games. It doesn't need to be good at anything else but technically just playing games. So, all of the bullshit is isolated, okay? I'm not updating my straight... my, like the new PC for specifically streams, the old game one to Windows 11. That's not happening. So I don't really care that much. I care, I care so much. I care, dude, I'm coping. I care so fucking much. It, everything feels so bad to do on this PC. I fucking hate it. Why can't they just, why the fuck? Where does Windows get off? Where does Microsoft get off? It's like they looked at their format for the Windows Store. For the Microsoft goddamn store. And they said, this is what we want the whole next operating system to be. Is just as cumbersome and bullshit as this is.
dude, this is the first time that I've... This is... And I... I don't say this lightly. Windows 11 is the first time I've looked at the operating system for Windows and considered if maybe a Linux is a better choice for my life. And it was only for a second. I didn't really think on it much more than that. And it's not like I'm going to. But for a second, I was like, what about any other option? <laughs> for a second, my brain was like, there has to be other choices. There are, if this is where we're going, there's only so much time. It was like actually like, it was PC fight or flight happened, essentially. Maybe get a Mac. <laughs> you must have hated Windows 8. I didn't like it either. I didn't like it either. Windows 10 was okay for me. I, I was okay with Windows 10. Windows 10 is okay, and it's what we all have, because if you still have, like, Windows 7, uh, you've been officially abandoned and are probably drowning in 18 Bitcoin miners. You're probably not here right now, not really. XP is the only way. <laughs> you guys are sick. You can't, you can't live like that. XP users just keep winning. Dude! When the people that made the thing that I use for my job say, you gotta get out of here, we are officially done with this, we're leaving this place to the fucking wolves, and we release the source code to them. Um, that's, that's my cue that I've been kind of forced to move with them. That's my, that's, that's my cue. I get out of there. I think Benji, Benji's like the only person I knew who like stuck around with Windows 7 after they like left. I think he stuck with Windows 7 for a while. I swear he did until like he got a new PC or something. I remember him talking about it. He did until he couldn't play games anymore. Yeah, that's kind of thing. People that are like Windows XP, dude, like you're, I don't know what you're doing, but I will say this, my Steam Deck, I've had to like set up more specific stuff like that for like emulators and crap. Yo. <laughs> legally, of course, games I legally own. Okay. Games I fucking legally own on my emulator. And uh, I'll tell you what, that thing runs on a Linux like setup and it not bad actually. I It's all kind of made sense to me. I've had to use Linux crap before though. I had to use it for like a cloud thing when I was like setting up like Just Cause servers like back in the day when that had multiplayer mods and shit. I had to set up with Linux. But that was also, I had to, I had to set up that crap with command prompt Linux. <sighs> God, I'm fucking smart though. Is the Steam Deck worthwhile if I really like playing games in bed? If you like that specifically, yes. I hate doing anything uh, involving like long-term games on basically anything other than my office chair, I would say. Like I can, I can do it, but like if I'm like alone and I wanna like do something with involving games, I wanna be at my office chair because I need like, I need 18 monitors telling me everything that's happening on the planet at the same time. I need to know. What's up? Everywhere at the same time as I'm doing things. So, uh, I have to be, I have to be at my desk. I need it, dude. I need to be constantly dialed in. I need to see this 18 monitor setup. Dude. Boone messaged me and he was like, I need you to send me a picture of your setup and I fucking ghosted his ass because I was like, there's no fucking way I'm cleaning my setup. <laughs> there's no fuck, ain't no way I'm taking a goddamn picture of this shit. I, li I literally just left him on red. I was like, this guy just sent me the most aggro thing anyone's ever sent me. Like, you, like... <laughs> 
<laughs> the spoons. I don't want them to see my desk spoons, man. I don't want to, I don't want anyone to see my desk spoons. It's gotten bad too, because now I have like three forks next to my bed as well. That it, my family, my, <laughs> my family has started to ask where things go. Because for some reason, I'm just like bringing things downstairs thinking I'll use them and I don't. And I forget they're down there and then I bring more down. And now I've basically, I'm basically a goblin stealing silverware. <laughs> like, like I'm not... I'm a goblin stealing silverware. <laughs> Mine. I am the kitchen goblin. I always was. I just, I grew out of it. That was me when I was younger in that video. I grew out of it. But if you met me in real life, you'd know the stink is still there. It's always there. An uncanny stench. Well, it's not really chat. It's not like, it's not like the way I view the uncanny stench is that it's not the goblin making the stench. If it was the goblin, it wouldn't be uncanny. It would be very obviously the goblin. I believe the uncanny nature means that the goblin the stink that follows the goblin is a tw is like a 360 degree aura of stink like it's something you can't pin on a source it's there it's there it's an a it's a putrid aura you know what i mean Permanent proximity debuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm here before game easy. I mean, the odds of you being here before game this time are very easy because I'm, I'm like, I was almost an hour late to stream. Uh, because I thought I would try to frantically set up an, a more elaborate version of Gamma for specifically one purpose, to use, like, warfare with zombies, and it broke the instant I set it up. I didn't even get to the main menu before that shit was like, you fucked up big time. And I was like, and grab the backup! Because I don't mod without backing up the entire product. I was like, instantly, I was like, and that's all the effort I'm putting in. Can't even mod good. Well, to give myself... Dude, the, the thing I was, like, trying to do was an alpha for a mod pack that goes on top of Gamma, which is a mod pack that goes on top of a standalone mod for a video game known as Stalker Call of Pripyat. So, like... I really did... I was kind of pushing it a little. You know what I mean? There's a lot of layers. And when you're working with an alpha mod pack, uh, the thread for it on the Discord quite literally included the mod, like the, the pack maker being like, uh, patch, patch out right now, here you go. And it's like, not even like, it doesn't even go directly into it. You gotta go into like a fucking subfolder for a subfolder for a subfolder for a subfolder. Get in there, get it, and then replace one tiny thing. It was a lot. It was too much. I was like, I'll just come back. I'll say, I'll bookmark this, come back to another time. And yo, Nomad, thanks for the fucking raid, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. When are we getting the 300 mod Skyrim stream? The odds of me doing another Skyrim stream ever are in the next year low. I wouldn't count on it. I chat. What's there to do? Like I did it. 
Like, I, I've done almost every version of Skyrim that's possible. And I would say that in every single one of them, I got some meaning out of it that I enjoyed. And the last one was literally, okay, me creating the most iconic VR Skyrim clip possibly on the internet. Okay? There's nothing more to do. There's nothing more to do. Daggerfall? I can't do Daggerfall, dude. I have... Listen, there's a level of old game where it's not, like, even... It's not possible for me to enjoy it unless I have nostalgia for it. Daggerfall's too old. Doesn't matter if you put, like, a fresh coat of paint on it. I have no attachment to it, so I don't fucking care. Alright, it's not Morrowind to me. You should play Arena. That's the one... I don't ever bring up Oblivion. <laughs> don't fucking even bother. I'm never doing it. Dude, I can't. I spent so long modding an Oblivion mod pack, and then it fucking broke. The bulb. The bulb can go to hell. Okay? The bulb can go to hell. What about Fallout 76? Dude! That is what I'm talking about, dude. Now that's a fucking game! The next Fallout thing I do is Fallout 2 or some shit. Genuinely, I do, I do like a different Fallout game. That isn't three. I'd do like a two, like a top-down one, probably. If I were to do one. I'd do one of the older ones. That I am willing to do. If not New Vegas. Chat again. Like, chat. I've been streaming for... I'm so fucking old. <laughs> and when some of you come in, you've only known me for a year. Right? I've been streaming full time for ma many a year. And I've done like five different New Vegas mod pack runs that are totally all isolated and different from one another. I've done many. I've had my, dude, I'm done hurting myself. I'm <laughs> That's really what it is. Like, like these games are miserable to mod. They're miserable. Someone do it for me. Now. Do it for me and put it all in a bundle. Why do I have to do it? Katie's. <laughs> Don't. Don't. I saw what Sam did to you when, when he made you make an entire pack for Skyrim and then never played it. I saw it. We all saw. I saw. Never played it. Literally never played it. Actual unhinged shit. <laughs> what happened with that? <laughs> I remember mentioning it to me and being like, yeah, Katie's making this fucking thing. And then it never <laughs> happened. He never used it, and then waited, and then when he waited, when he wanted it, he gave me 12 hours notice, basically, and then Kraken's thing didn't work with it anymore because he waited too long. Damn. <laughs> That's fucking funny. That's fucking funny, though. That's fucking funny. That's, like, like, like Katie, as, like, here's the thing, you got owned. You know what I mean? Like, it's, I cried for like 10 hours straight. Oh my God. I messaged him a huge apology and he was like, lol, it's okay, whatever. Hey, 
For what's worth, Katie, I can't speak for Sam. Nor do I have really any context to this, and I'm kind of looking for exits because I feel like I kind of entered a field of which I am really not one to talk or provide opinions on. But good news is, I literally, in truth, don't trust a single fucking one of you. I point to the entire chat when I say this to make a mod pack for me because I'm too much of a psycho perfectionist to trust anyone to do anything for me in that regard. So don't sweat it. You're never going to be asked or expected to create anything on my behalf for my work because I need to know literally everything that's inside of it. No, I was not mad at him. I offered to do all of it. I was just really wanted to make it perfect. Yeah, that's the thing, you know? That's what, I, I don't think I could ever not feel fucking horrible for having someone walk, like having anyone provide something for me that has such a short lifespan before it disappears. Cause like, that shit's, like, modding is a lot of fucking work. That's so much, that shit's so much work. I just finished my tomato mod pack. What the fuck, bro? Look. Here's my full disclosure on that stuff. If you create something for me, I will try my best to give it a proper look but I will never make any promises that I will ever cover anything created on my behalf for anything. Like, that's just, that is just a flat out, that is the case. Like, I don't, it, it's, that sounds stressful to me to have anything given to me that someone put a lot of work into that now I am expected to, like, use, you know? So like, that's just to be clear on my side. It's not from a lack of appreciation. It is the fact that I simply don't want that door open, like as something that people may expect, you know? <laughs> just want the record straight. I'm done talking, chat. I have nothing more to say. Which means there's only one thing left to do. Good. <laughs> Good. I wonder if the game audio works today. <clears throat> Audio's all weird now because it's on Windows 11. Okay, I heard the stalker click, so I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. All right. So here's the situation, Chad. Here's the situation. Okay. Dude has Windows 11. I didn't have a fucking choice, dude. Evidently, I didn't have a choice. They put, they gave this to me. They made me this. Hey, baby. New game. So, for those that don't know what Gamma is, this is a mod pack overhaul of Stalker Anomaly, which is in itself a standalone mod for Stalker Call of Chernobyl. The open, I believe it's for that. I believe it's technically a standalone mod for Call of Chernobyl, which is in itself a standalone, which is in itself a mod for Stalker, Shadow of Chernobyl, Clear Sky, and Call of Prepare. It's a mod for a mod for a mod for a mod of a mod for a mod pack of a mod. But uh, re last year, uh, I think it might have been, it might have been a little earlier, uh, we did a UNISG run. On Iron Man. We're still doing Iron Man today. Okay, that's not changed. We're, the, it's still going to be Iron Man, but we're doing a different faction this time. Uh, specifically, zombies. <laughs> we're playing zombies. I'm playing the zombie faction. What? Did I stutter? <laughs> I don't remember stuttering. Real zombie. I'm actually going to play... I'm, we're playing the zombie faction. I convinced Boone to play UNISG. Was that a mean thing to do? 
Bo hang on. Boring. All right, Razzly. Uh, okay, Razzly. Guys, hang on. I'm going to retitle the... What, Razzly, what do, what do you want us to fucking play? Ra guys, everyone relax for a second. Let's check what Razzly wants before we move on. We should make sure that Razzly wants this one. You want, like, a different game? Or do you want, like, a different faction? I could also... I'm out! Peace! <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> I don't know what... I'm actually bully... What do you want me to do, dude? What, <laughs> what do you want me to do? All I did was acknowledge that someone said the thing I wanted to do for my entire stream today was boring. That's my guy. That's my guy. I'm going to play this guy with the funny jaw. Looks a little bit like a... Like a <laughs> Hang on, do we have some other options? There's a lot of zombie choices, but they all kind of have this. <laughs> what are these? This is just like some kind of like pog face. They're all kind of that, huh? Yo! <laughs> huh. I think I think this might be one of the most important things we do all day is pick the face. Dead Pixels 45, thanks for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, they look like Gmod faces? Kinda. Kinda. Anyways, I'm gonna name him, uh, Squungus. Squungle. Yeah, I'm gonna name him Squungle the Nasty. Which is a fucking awesome name. Okay. That's a fucking awesome name. Squungle the Nasty. That's a good name. S name. <laughs> S name and ended in Ungus. <laughs> Shut up. Wrong. Uncle. Different. It's different. Wrong. Okay. Gameplay difficulty. Hard. Okay. For those who don't know, that changes all of my resource use, etc. I always play on gameplay difficulty hard. And I always play on survivalist. Okay. We're gonna do life granter one life every th every one day. We'll get one back. We're gonna start with five lives for this character, specifically because this is we are starting with far less gear options and far less ability like possibilities to start than you and ISG does technically. So we're gonna assume I'm gonna eat shit the second I spawn at least twice. So, what location are we starting at? None of them are very good. Uh, we get Zatin Sawmill, Jupiter Village, Outskirts Riverport, or Tunnel Entrance. But Monolith likes us. We're going to random it either way. We're also going to start with reasonably terrible items this time, which means PPSH. <laughs> we're going to do PPSH. Uh, that's the gun we're going to start with. Uh... Oh, there is one thing I want to turn off on this character. I'll make sure sleeping bags are, like, sleeping is disabled. Because uh, I don't think it makes sense that my zombie would sleep. So I'm, I want to make sure that's not something I have to do on this character, ever. Food and etc. Whatever. Uh, no sleeping. Uh, no sleeping. The PP gun. Yeah. We're going to use the PP gun. Uh, I also want a headlamp. I'm not a sicko. And we're also going to take... Uh, 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 yeah, 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 yep, just a lot of medical supplies, food and water, you find them, uh, you do, you get, you get those naturally, um, I'm, the, the, the amount of points we use kind of makes it so we can't get the armor, which is okay, we can, we can live without the armor, we'll be, we'll be fine. We start with bandages, so I don't need to worry about that. We start with food and water. Why does a zombie need medical supplies? I'm not immortal. Do you know if you have any trader options? I know that the 
actual base for my character is technically the monolith home base in Pripyat. Or not Pripyat. Uh, whatever the whatever the original Shadow of Chernobyl zone is for monolith, I know that's that is technically my base. So that's technically Destination 1. Not NPP. Temple of Culture. That's the one. I never play Monolith, so I'm thinking this will be interesting because I'm not really going to be Monolith. It'll be kind of a, a cheap knockoff Monolith. Squunkle the Nasty. Uh, everything is the same. Everything is fine. We still have 40 points left. We're going to spend it on getting a piece of bread, a sausage. Actually, no. We're going to change our mind on that. We're going to get uh, a delicious beer and a piece of bread. There we go. Intern monolith. You're not... Here's the problem is you're not fucking wrong. You're not wrong. Anyways. I don't see much reason to, to wait any longer unless I want to change my character's face. I kind of... I kind of love this one. Because this one makes it look like someone behind him just called him a freaking idiot. And he just heard it and can't believe it. I kind of like that one. Like he's doing like a huh face. Huh? What? Huh? What, what did you say? Huh? What? What? Huh? Part of me... Oh, fuck. Do I get this? No, 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 no. We're going to be fine. So once again, just as a reminder, when we get in, I'm going to spawn in a basic toolkit and a basic drug making kit. Uh, these are just quality of life things for me because I've done this a lot of times and we're doing a very specific kind of stupid run. Uh, I just like to have that. I'd like to have that early. I get it's not default and I wouldn't necessarily recommend you do it, but it's just quality of life thing for me. Okay. So. Mm, do I want this though? Yeah, I do. Hang on. I'm gonna get a gas mask. I'd rather have the gas mask. Okay. All right. We don't have enough to dit. I don't think we can ditch this last five points, but that's okay. I'd rather have a gas mask. Spawning step? Yeah, I'm. I'm rigging it, dude. It's rigged. All right, we're good. Uh, yeah. There might not be any audio when we get in. I might need to reload the game, cause again, new PC, new problems. Etc. Etc. I appreciate you being patient with me. No agony. It's already in basically agony. We're playing on gamma, so you can't save unless you're at a fireplace, anyways. That's lit. And just for the record, zombies don't light fucking fireplaces. <laughs> so, okay, so we spawned in. Oh God. Zatin. Oh, is this Zatin? No, this is Jupiter. I didn't realize we were playing. This is a Silent Hill looking place right now. Uh, okay, well, uh, <laughs> okay, let's just get my clothes on. Squungle the nasty, let's get you dressed. He doesn't have armor, but that's okay. Just grab, uh, grab all the basics, make sure we got everything Ready to go? <laughs> that's a fucking, that's a clear sky rookie right there. Did I spawn in a, like a place where just like rookies are hanging out? Oh no. Okay, well, uh, are there any others? Where's my boys? Can't go any, I can't go out that window or I get radiated. Okay, here's the plan. Chat, I have, for the record as well, I did. I forgot to mention this. I've lowered the power of disguise. I've lowered the like speed at which people ID disguises. It's easier to wear a disguise on my character, which I think is I think is interesting as like a zombie thing. As long as I cover my character, it's much easier for me to sneak around. And I've also enabled stealth kills. So if I'm using a silenced weapon or a melee weapon and I do get up to someone, no one will hear it or the odds of them hearing it are much lower. It's not balanced, but I want to test it out. If it's too OP, we'll turn it off. That's the plan. Ah. Oh, I picked the wrong direction for the radiation. 
Hang on. I fucked up. Damn, man. I was hoping I wouldn't have to drink all this alcohol. Yeah, it's Jupiter radiation. Oh, yeah, now radiation's really bad out here. I have to drink this alcohol to get rid of it. Or I'll fucking die. We'll just chug a couple doses of it. We'll be fine. Wait, can zombies still get radiation? The way I would explain my character's faction best is that zombie enemies won't attack me, but I am essentially a human covered in zombie guts. I am not actually following zombie stats as far as the game is concerned. So, uh, I am just playing a character that's, I'm LARPing, okay? I'm LARPing. Where'd that fucking clear sky goon go? Where the hell did that guy walk after you? Oh, I gotta be so careful going around with all this radiation right now, dude. I just gotta be so careful till we get out of this place. <laughs> yeah, I just set my PPSH to single fire till we get out of this shithole. Where is. Actually, I'll leave that. Where is this guy? I, he's my best kid. I, I gotta get that body and take his clothes. Where the fuck did he go? He can't have gotten very far. Dude, the radiation's so annoying. Son of a bitch. Son of a okay, there's just a wall of radiation here. We gotta run through it. God? Okay, there we go. What's one more? This is why we bought the beer. All right, this is why we bought it. <laughs> we bought it because I knew I would need it for the start. Because every zombie spawn is in some shitty fucking radiation trap. The fuck did that guy go? Fucking Silent Hill fog. Here the hell is Squungle the Nasty supposed to get his big break? Well, that's the ecologist base. If he went that way, it's over. I'm not catching him. They're fighting something out there. Ain't me. Ain't Squungle. Couldn't be. Couldn't be fucking Squungle. <laughs> couldn't be Squungle. Squungle doesn't do nothing wrong. Okay, well, that guy's gone. Uh, I accept that. Let me lay down for a second. On the ground. Take a look at our PDA. That sounds like a guy approaching me. I don't like that. So, if we want to get to the safest place possible, we need to go to Pripyat. Because this is Monolith Base. So we should cross this place and see if we can get some quests at the Monolith Place and hope that we can actually talk to Monolith. Is that you and ISG fighting a college? Hang on. We may be able to use this. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Flee! Dude. Ah, fuck. That's the radiation, dude. Where the hell did that come from? <sighs> ah! Okay, assholes. Fine. I gotta get out of here. Or at least out of this field. Damn, man, those guys really did rip my arm right off my body. Ah! <laughs> Relax! I don't know. I'm not very good at Jupiter's layout. Okay. I have to go around this because there's no fucking way I'm making it out. Following the, uh, following that path past the college space. There might be zombies in here for me to hang out with too, which would be cool. Uh, am I fucking... I keep forgetting if this game actually shows me if I'm bleeding or not. With like the red. I think I was, technically. I wish it would show me like a ping. I thought it used to, but 
bro. Red fucking bed. There's someone outside. That's a fucking exo. Sorry, man. Uh, what's up? Ow! Ah! That guy was UNISG, but he was cool, so I thought I'd talk to him. I thought I'd give him a chance. Probably shouldn't have, but I just... The second he did, he survived the whole magazine. I wasn't gonna kill him. <laughs> so the way I saw it, either I hung out with him or I died. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, by that point, I was dead either way. <laughs> okay, I, I, okay. All right, so here's what we do. We're back here again. We're down one life. We have four left. What we're going to do is we're going to run straight for that fucking clear sky guy and kill him. There he is. Give me all your shit, motherfucker. Give me this. My radiation! Oh, why was this guy even standing here, dude? Why would you fucking stand here, man? Oh, we're dead. Oh, yeah, this guy baited me hard. This is the most rate. This is actually, believe it or not, the second elephant foot is right here. <laughs> this is where the second elephant foot was. It's fine, guys. I'm gonna do the old classic. Oh, yeah, we're gonna be fine. Don't you guys worry for a second. We're just gonna drink all this alcohol. We're gonna get out of here. This is the highest radiation spot in the game. We're gonna. We're gonna be. <laughs> No, we're fucking not. No, <laughs> we're fucking not. I don't think I technically lose a life if I reload. We're just gonna reload. That's cursed. That's fucking cursed. <laughs> we are... We are getting out of there. I just wanted to fucking see if the stealth kill thing would work. Okay. For realsies this time. For realsies. I'm gonna keep an eye on him, but we're not gonna fucking go after him until he's to that spot. He needs to get to like there for him to be out. He should be dead! I can't even loot him, so I can't kill him from here. I don't think I can hit him with the PPSH from this distance anyways. He's basically dead. He's dead. Can I get out this window? The other one has radiation. I gotta keep my eyes on him. Fuck, he's getting out of here. I gotta follow him. Alcohol. <laughs> We're okay. We're past it. We'll be all right. Ignore the, ignore the wheezing. We're fine. I can take this guy while I'm drunk too. But I am gonna take this medicine preemptively. Because we are He I can't believe he doesn't fucking hear me right now, dude. This guy's this guy this isn't the stealth thing, he's just dumb. For the record. But he is a rookie, so I guess it makes sense. Fuck, he didn't drop his clothes this time. I just need to get away from the radiation, for starters. Then I can kind of get my, get my bearings. That was brutal. Fuck that guy, dude. I actually need to drink more alcohol stuff. <laughs> this place sucks. We just have to get to Monolith, dude, and then we're gonna be okay. I was planning on, basically the way I saw it, Chad, was I'll get the kit for like my tools once I get to the monolith place. I think that's how I'm gonna do it, is I'll spawn those in for myself when I get there. 
but not before. So we have to get there first. Oh, this gun ain't gonna do shit, because it's definitely gonna jam. But what if I went back up to where that fucking UNISG guy was and fucking killed him? Wait, what gun? What? We're using buckshot. Yeah, we're not killing shit. All right, well. We have to cross the map, which means we have to, we have to go by. We have to go by the bunker. Or we have to go below. But I don't really want to fuck with the EXO guy. He's UNISG with endgame armor. I think we follow this ridge. We follow this ridge and we go behind this place. If there wasn't a fence here, which there is, we're gonna have to go in through this hole in the fence and then go around the fence. Does he see me? He doesn't. We need to go around him. <laughs> this is fucked, dude. We need to go around that guy. That's a bot. That's like a raid boss. But what if you got his armor? There ain't no way I'm beating that guy in a fight. There just ain't no way. With a fucking peep, we I put a mag into him. I put a mag into him, man. I'm not that strong. I'm not strong. <laughs> Stealth kill him, champ. We're dead. That's a U. That's totally like a full UNISG squad. If I really hope this fence breaks here. Yes. That zombie's running away as fast as he can, sir. And it looks like he's chugging vodka. Is that? Is that right? I lived, bitch. I lived. Dogs. Don't. Yo, we cool? Relax. 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 We might be kind of cool as zombies. Oh, that dog's fucking tailing me. Relax. Hey. <laughs> Relax. Oh, hang on. But I'm, it's not gonna count. I'll still lose a life if I talk to this dog and he fucking bites my head off. Relax. I said relax! I gotta get the fuck out of here. Cool it! I was worried that would fucking happen. <laughs> okay, so dogs definitely aren't as aggroed to me as they should be, which is, seems like it might be a zombie faction thing. They might kind of be okay with it. But, I mean, they still tried to fucking kill me. So, probably just gonna keep my distance from them still ammo update uh it seems like my gun doesn't want to reload which is kind of worrying me oh it was different ammo type okay i was wondering why my ammo wouldn't reload it's a different type i thought i would be given all the same type of ammo but i wasn't Epic depth of field. I might turn that off soon. Bandit. Those guys are guys to bully. We should probably kill them. Stamina. Level up. That's at me. Maybe? If it's at me, those bandits are really bad at aiming. Hang on. Settings, advanced, 
depth of field, apply. It still changes. It still blurs out some edges when you zoom in and stuff, but I think that's a different effect. But we got rid of the depth of field. I might have to change a separate configuration in here. Uh, hang on. Which one of these is it? Uh, which one? Is it camera reanimation? I remember finding this when I played this, like, mod pack a while ago. SSS? No, that's... Oh, weapon depth of, depth of field. Uh, when reloading... I like it when I when I aim down sights, to be honest, but I will get rid of it when we're using our inventory, when we're looting mutants, and when we're using our PDA. Uh, I'll get rid of it for everything else. I kind of do like it for aiming down sights. Frankly. I think those fucking bandits totally have my number, but they're also bandits. So if I can't take them, I can't take anyone. Nom. <laughs> That's Nom, the bandit. He's one of the most powerful freaking bandits. That guy really did see me. Dude, you're a bandit. Relax. Okay, you're not like, like, come on, man. Oh, this place is all barbed wire. Fuck. Well, somehow the other bandits didn't care enough to check out. Oh, no, there they are. Woo! I'm sorry, did you shoot through that? You shot through it. <sighs> she comes. Okay. This Yajalin will heal up my arm so it's not red anymore, which is why we're using it. Gets rid of the yellow temp bar, makes it permanent so that we can actually uh, not have a deteriorating status for the rest. I should have actually bandaged at the same time, but uh, I was worried I might still have a guy here. As long as it's not empty, we're okay. I will hang tight here a minute, though. Take a sip of your water. Because my character's water's getting down to the point where he's going to want a sippy anyways. I'm going to just disassemble some stuff. Yep. Going to get rid of some of this crap. Check and see if there's a bandit actually sneaking up on me because they do that while my character's Yajalin goes away because that's why he's all like That's why he's all like weird right now Okay It's dissipating Okay, so that's Nam. That's Felka I think there's one more guy How did that guy not know? I got him. Dude, shut the fuck up. Quiet. Quiet over there. Like a cross tie still talking. Hey, Shut up, man! Quiet. My guy like put his gun down to like fix a jam, but instead he just put it away. 
And now none of my guns are working. I might need to save here and reload. Oh, fuck. Hang on. That's happened before. It's okay. It's a small bug. I think I could also fix it by just unequipping my weapons and re-equipping them. Rare occurrence. Zombie lights. Whoa! <laughs> this guy doesn't know? Dude, this is such bullshit. I literally... Man. Man. <laughs> Uh, if I hadn't had to reload the game, they wouldn't have been aggroed to me the way that they were. And I wouldn't be half surrounded. Oh my fucking God, my guy. You're gonna have to aim real well to catch me. I'm the fastest zombie that's ever fucking lived, jackass. This is the most radioactive corner of the whole map. They'll never look for me here in hell. In hell! Oh my god. I wish that... You know, it's the one thing that I... And it's not like a gamma problem. It's a full stalker in general problem. Is the fact that... Characters, like the AI can live like this in hell in radiation and then when i run through the area uh it's only then that i clock how bad their life really was because they don't deal with radiation ai don't care this guy this character might be a wash we might need to uh make a new one This this guy might be this might be it for Squungle the Nasty. We might have to make the, we might have to make a fresh one that isn't in Jupiter in the shithole zone. Uh, is what it's starting to feel like. That might be. Yeah, I think we gotta do a fresh one on Squungle. I think we accept ex accept that Squungle's doomed. Uh, and I think we just grab a uh, new spawn. Same thing, new spawn. Uh, specifically because that one. Jupiter's rough. I'm not good at Jupiter as it is. I play very little of it compared to others. And also the PPSH is uh, not really clicking. I'm gonna grab an SKS. We're gonna grab an SKS and bank on, uh, bank on this being the big one. All right, we're gonna name this guy Skung, skung, skungle, skungle, <laughs> skungle, the devious, skungle, the devious. Another S name. Get off my back. We'll do abandoned sawmill and Zatin, all right? Do abandon sawmill Zat and let's fucking go. Get off my case. Let's go, Skungle. Go. What's wrong with S names? Just name it Skagzag already. Quiet. Are you sure Zat is any easier? Well, the problem is Gamma, also on top of it, has higher radiation the higher up you are on the map. And my character has no additional resistance for radiation. So... That's the real problem. But that's something that I can adjust for. Unless that guy's... What's up? Relax. Stop looking at the gun, dude! Stop looking at the gun, dude! Stop looking at it, dude! Let's stop looking at it! Relax. Chill, 
man! Almost feel kind of bad for what I'm about to do to this bandit. Oh, that's actually a renegade. It's a, I don't feel bad then. Renegades are subhuman. Ow! I didn't say that, man. If you're a renegade, I didn't say that. If you're a renegade, I didn't say that. <sighs> you heard wrong. Fucking die, you psycho! Freak! Tour guide now? No, I don't care who that was. There's still probably one bandit still alive in this shithole. Renegades are subhuman, says the zombie. Am I wrong, though? Just because it's a zombie that said, is the zombie fucking wrong? Dude. <laughs> hey, I mean. Damn! Damn, man. What is this using? Fucking nine mil? Chat, you're Omega Lulling, but nine mil's fucking everywhere, and I don't have many things going on. Okay, so like, you Omega Lull now, but nine mil, like, come on. I'm actually still bleeding a little. I still think I hear one guy. Well, I'm gonna kick it. Did they make the campfire directly underneath the open part of the warehouse? Well, I'm gonna loot them. Let's see here, dead renegade. I mean... Take his boar snacks. I'm gonna take his pistol. Thought I heard a guy. Surely no one's still alive. That would be foolish of them. We'll grab this pistol just to grab it. I wish I had clothes. That's the one thing. I need to steal someone's outfit. But until someone drops one. Ah. Okay, chat. <laughs> no one tell anyone, but I'm actually going to dress up like Mihal Goblin. That's my... I'm, I'm going to RP as a bandit today. I'm RPing as a bandito. It's my RP. Okay, so... Did someone loot this guy? Who? Grish Grishka Hotshot also died here. Is there any other dead bodies I should know about? Doesn't seem like it. Yep, rain's coming down something fierce today. We best keep our wits about us out here. But yet, take a look at this. There's a goddamn stash there. Kinda makes me wonder if maybe we should swing by it. Now here's the problem, Chet. Where we should go, if we were smart boys, is Chernobyl NPP because there's monolith there. But I hate that place. I hate that place. I don't want to be there. I hate Chernobyl. But where there's monolith, there's friends. And if there's friends, there's jobs. And if there's jobs, we can make some money. And then when we go to the other side of Chernobyl and PP, okay. We can go straight to Pripyat. Surely we won't soak up 8 million sieverts of radiation crossing the most radioactive part of the entire, uh, you know, zone. I 
I'm going to a Chernobyl NPP to say hi to my friends, the Monolith guys, because I- Ow! I also need to find out if I can even chill with them. Ow! Is my leg really that broken? I don't want to use a Yaja- Ow! Oh, That might be the worst omen that ever happened to anyone in their entire fucking life. Right there. That's, uh... That was a stealth boar. I, I've, I've never not heard a boar come up and hit me before. Before that, that was the first time. I think that I've ever had a boar sneak up on me. Audio? Well, the problem is it's raining. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I do need to fix that. Okay, it's hard to hear when it's right. This is not the place. Take me back to Scrungle the Devious's autosave. Or daddy save, I guess. I am not, I am not demoralized, chat. Believe me. We just have to get to Pripyat. We get to Pripyat, we're golden. The boar is a better killer than you. I killed like five people, dude, but I do need to get the fuck out of here because that boar is going to aggro to me from the other side. Okay, so here's the situation. The directions changed. First of all, settings. Gameplay. Where is it? There's something that's important to me. Where's the, uh... Where's the setting that lets me make it so characters don't need to sleep? I want that off. Uh, I need that turned off for this character. Is it zone? Well, there's multiple gameplay difficulties. Uh, well, I guess gameplay difficulty, gameplay difficulty. No, it's not in there. I remember it being somewhere else. It might be in a mod thing now. It's not a big deal. It's not a huge deal. It's just like a flavor thing that I thought made more sense. Uh, there is one thing I am going to do, though. I, I actually think it, and maybe this is just me. I think it rains too much uh, in the game. Oh, it's already set to rare. You're kidding me. I guess they thought so too, and I've just I'm just really unlucky. Okay. Uh I'm gonna take a Yajalin. I need to fix my leg. I need to reload. God damn it! I saw the fucking orange bar on my thing and I thought I had already bandaged for some reason. That doesn't count! That doesn't count as a death. My brain's all scattered because I was thinking about the fucking other stuff. Mild Dutton strikes again. I'm getting all turned around. It's zombie brain, you see. It's zombie brain. Ever heard of zombie brain, kid? Y'all ever heard of zombie brain? Who the fuck's that? That's a guy! I'm not going crazy! That's a guy! My brain's not scorched! Close! On! It didn't say if I- they thought I was abandoned anymore. Oh, no. Update. I need to say- I think it thinks I'm part of the bandit. That's why it keeps- there's a guy over there, dude. He's standing there like he might be a zombie. I think my guy I Oh, Z is tearing my fucking patch up. I think that's a real zombie. Put a patch back on. Uh, we're, we're bandits again. Everyone thinks we're bandit. We're okay. Weather sucks. Oh. I need to fix that. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, MCM keybinds. Which one of these? Hot. Hotkey. Z. Okay, I'm going to assume it's in my actual keybinds then. Whatever the tear patch thing is, I need it not on Z. That's going to accidentally be clicked and kill me. Uh, that is 100% how I'm going to die. 
at some point. No, that's... It's got to be mod then. Other, hang on, mod configuration, MCM, hotkey. Patches. Okay, the hotkey is hotkey. Well, the hotkey is now going to be freaking bracket. Left bracket. Cool, we got there. I use Z for walking. Toggle. There's a zombie over here. We can see if we're friends or not, Chad. This is really important. Because we're not friends with the fucking boars. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's good? Huh. I right, relax, okay? Relax. Oh. I do want to loot that guy. Let's see how this bad boy works. Not well. <laughs> Not well, because it jammed, dude. I mean, it is old and crusty. Piece of shit. Piece of shit gun, dude. Fuck. Turn your back on me! Pants. <laughs> I'll be taking those. I'll be taking that. Free XP? Haha, <laughs> yeah. What's my- what's my levels looking like? I'm almost good at surviving a little. Where them boars at, though? We're going to Chernobyl NPP. We're going. Everyone shut up. I know you don't want to go to Chernobyl NPP, but we're going. Just chill. You're gonna love it once we get there. Did I overshoot the actual turn? These trees haven't become low resolution yet. So I think it's up here at the fence. We're good. This game fucking pretty though, dude. I swear, every time I play it, man. How is zombie different to normal guy? Everyone hates me, but Monolith... Uh... I start with even shittier gear. Less availability for things. And... Uh... Yeah, basically that. It's like a worse version of Sin. <laughs> it's like a worse version, it's a harder version of playing Sin. And, uh, and we get to be RP zombies. I didn't get immediately irradiated. Chat. Look at the positives. Look at the positives, dude. Still a bandito? I'm Scrungle the Devious, the bandit. As long as I don't take this patch off. Oh fuck! I need to take it off. It still says I'm a bandit, but it says they recognize me as a zombie, so... When I get up here, those guys are gonna love me. <laughs> this is a bad train, Royal dude. <laughs> Guys, you can't... You can't build buildings like this. Guys, where is this? Oh, it's a door. On this side. The other side's just a wall. It opens? The other side's up there. Ah! Guys! Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to actually reload this autosave. If, uh... If it bugged that... I'm gonna actually take off the outfit this time and see if that changes things. Cause they shouldn't be attacking me. <laughs> I should be okay, right? Take it off entirely. If even they hate me, then we are cursed. If this is what happens, 
then we are officially a cursed being of the undead. That'll... Or these aren't monoliths. Which is another possibility. But I want to take off my outfit first, just in case I bugged it by or like confused it. But it should only be monolith here. This is this is NPP. And the monolith blockade. Yo, where are my boys at? Oh, <laughs> there's that. There's that. NPP radiation. <gasps> That's a model. They're shooting at me, dude! Oh, we are. We aren't friends with anyone. Am I allowed to... I'm going to reload to my daddy save then. Mod broken. They think you're a bandit. Your armor is a disguise. It's not on. Yeah. It's not on. Your faction is bandit though. I know, but I can't change it beyond just taking the armor on and off. Guys, you need to understand I'm a bandit. Okay, here's what we do. I am going back to the daddy save. We are not giving up. Here's what we do. You appear as bandit? It's probably because I t fucked up that patch thing 18,000 times. We're not going to NPP. We're just perma bandit? No, we're gonna be- Everyone calm down! You're scaring me. Oh no. The world thinks me a bandit. My guy's stuck as a bandit! That's not right. Hang on, let me see. Settings, gameplay, disguise, enable disguise system off. Settings, gameplay. I might have to re... I might have to reload the thing. The game. Fully. Yeah, the game thinks I'm a fucking bandit. Try using the patch again. I'm not wearing clothes. They think you're part of the zombified community. Yeah, but it still says I'm a bandit. Okay, here's what we do now. Quick game and we're gonna load back in. Must be his face. Dude, if this is going to bug out with the disguise thing, I might have to, we might have to revise the plans. We might have to revise the plan. If that's going to break. I think disguise is, if disguise is bugged, I might just have to switch to sin. But I'd have to get another disguise to test it on a fresh save. Like, I'd have to do Sin or Renegade. Like, I'd want to do another one of the Cursed Factions. Mod, set up a- set up a poll then. Uh, for whether or not we do a Sin or Renegade run. We'll do it like that. Uh, because I think this might actually be cursed. Uh, this might- this might be- this might be scuffed on this. What's the difference? Sin starts in Red Forest. And they are fucking absolutely degenerates, like cults, cultists. Renegade is, even bandits don't really like fucking renegades. You're just an asshole. It's asshole POV. But if we don't really have a choice, because the zombie mode seems to be a little bit crusty, which is okay. Uh, I didn't give it a ton of testing. Uh, we'll pivot to another one of the cursed ones that isn't UNISG. So it's cult POV or asshole POV. Seems like most people want cult POV. Okay, well, that's easy. Unless it changes. Yeah, it's sin. 
I heckin' love Jesus. There we go. I pivoted the title. <laughs> New game! So in order to unlock Sin, you type in G-R-O-H on the, uh, right? G-R-O-H? G-R-O-H. What's the thing? Is it grow? It's gray. It's gray. G-R-E-H. I never play Sin because I think they're fucking truly, <laughs> I think they're miserable creatures. Like this is the Sin, this is Sin face. Skirt. Skirt. The. The. Um. The. Skirt. The. Um. Uh. I just like the nasty, dude. I just like. I just like the nasty at the end of it. I just, this is Skirt the, nas the Nasty. I, I like that name. I fucking like that name. I don't know. I like the Nasty. I like that. Illegally, I have to spawn in Red Forest. Fuck me, dude. <laughs> if we're gonna play Sin, I have to spawn in Red Forest. Fine. Iron Man. Same settings, everything as last time. Legally. This is how it must be. I have to have it. I have to have it. Wow, those are really cheap things. Uh, gun, SKS, and that leaves me with just enough points to buy the basic. Does my guy not start with medicine? Okay, we can't get that one. We need to get this, that, this, another one of those, some food. Uh, all the basic things that my guy doesn't spawn with. He barely even got what well, It's fine. We're gonna get this gun instead. We're gonna get this this nice looking new gun. PP-19. PP-19, dude. We'll get that. He well, even now we have time to get a headlamp. Oh, we're gonna have so much fun. And, chat, we, we, we can even get a freaking extra salami. I just want to get in here as fast as possible, honestly. But is this what skirt would look like? Or would skirt be more of like a... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Look, zombie mode, a bit of a shame. But at least now I don't have to rely on disguise. bit of a shame but sin's also interesting i didn't really want to do renegade because renegade is just so sad <laughs> renegade is so sad they are so pathetic like sin at least has like guys that can do stuff renegade is so sad and they start in the swamps i mean but we start in a fucking hole so we're not really that much better all right guys Oh, hang on. This is important. Uh, UI, player, breathing frog. Get that the fuck out of here. Okay, guys. There's more that meets the eye of the zone. Every time I look at this guy, I get all shaky because he's really fucking scary. Uh, hey, you got jobs? I need basic tools. On this, on Sin, we're not going to spawn in tools for ourselves. We will live in squalor like everyone else until we get there. Isn't it fun that the Sin base camp is actually in Red Forest? Chad, isn't that just epic? We're going to pick up some jobs. And I'm going to ask what I can do to serve our cause. Spread the message. Make our people aware of what the zone truly is, brother. That it is a miracle. That it can help us improve. That it can save mankind from its own self-destructive nature. You will report to the monolith elders and we will give you your assignments. You must do your part. We will help the world cleanse itself of sin. 
Yeah, but like anything else you want done? No, no. You can go. Can, do you sell things? Oh, hell yeah, man. I got $5,000, Strabog. There's only one thing I want. Jesus! Chat, if I'm not spawning tools for myself, am I allowed to spawn a psychopath axe? Come on. Can I get a pre-bloodied axe? Come on. Come on. We, we're skipping the quality of life stuff, but I'm gonna get an axe. All right, I want the, I want the psycho axe. Cheat engine enabled. What is the cheat engine button? <laughs> what, what's my what's my debug button again? I don't even remember anymore. F7. See, that's how you know that I don't cheat very much. That's how you fucking know. Also, it's not F7. It's not F7. <laughs> but I did take a nice picture. I think I need to enable it in the launcher and I don't have it enabled, so we'll have to do it another time. It's okay. We're gonna pick up some jobs from these people. Sin's the only friends we have. We're gonna make sure we grab everything. And then we'll get the fuck out of here and do something with our lives. Hey. That guy I've talked to. Any work you want done? That guy wants me to kill someone for Monolith. Sure, I can do that. Any other jobs you want done? No? Okay. What about- what about you, man? Anything you want done? No? Okay. I'll be taking that garbage. Anything else on the ground I can take? Right on. Reinforced carbon fibers. This guy does still sell things. I'd like to buy one or two things. Specifically. Okay. I kind of want- I kind of- there's kind of like one or two things that are important. What the hell was that sound? Did you guys hear that? It was like a loud gunshot and then a ping happened. Almost as if someone's outside the base currently storming Sin HQ. That's not possible. That's not possible. I don't even have money to get that. Alright, man. Well. Any jobs in Red Forest? There's a mutant in the, in the area over there. Yeah, I can... <laughs> Oh, dude. Do you guys see this fucking gun, man? Look at this thing. One more thing I want to buy, sir. Uh, if I'm killing mutants, I need to buy... I'm going to spend, like, all my money buying hollow point ammo for my submachine gun. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We'll do FMJ for now. But... Later, we're gonna want... Hang on, I'm just gonna say... Go. That guy, that's kind of wigging me out. I don't know why they're shaking like that. Ow! Oh, I ruined it. I'm getting out of here. I think I just ruined the, the dinner. Personally fucking knew it, dude. I fucking knew it. Something was off. I knew it! Dude, I'm not an idiot! Hey. Get the fuck out of here, alright? <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Go to jail, man. Yasha Nark, he actually came to tell on us. Pathetic. Pathetic. You're pathetic. Disassemble. I need my fucking... I need my multi-tools, man. I need my multi-tool. But I'm so poor. That guy was pathetic! Dude! <laughs> oh, I got some AP rounds. I feel like there's not more stuff. No, there is. I should just keep FMG. All right. So over there is where normal stalkers spawn. Literally right there. Uh, so there's a chance I just get jumped going outside, which is really fun. 
Our best asset right now is to be stealthy and take it slow. We technically have... Oh yeah, that's fucking lit. All right, so there's totally normal stalkers right there. We technically have uh, mutants we need to kill over yonder, but uh, the odds of us getting that done are slim. Uh, they want us to still go to the same place the zombies did, which means they need to meet with Rabbit at Monolith HQ. That's fine. We can do that, but... Let's just deal with these fucking disgusting animals right here. I don't have any grenades. Anything like that. They're totally people. That's the problem. But if we're lucky, everyone will be so distracted by what's going on over there, they won't hear what I'm about to do to these idiots over here. I'm about to introduce them to some divine fucking vengeance, man. For what they did, sending that one guy in? They're probably the ones who put him up to it. They did, they, they, they did this. They deserve what, what happens next. Some dude just screamed. They're being attacked by mutants. I'm going in. They were killed by a chimera. <laughs> All right, we're going this way. I don't care if there's guys here that are alive. We're getting inside these walls. That's the chimera actually running towards me to kill me. We need to push it. Chill. Relax, man. I'm not looting that guy yet. There's a chimera and I could hear him getting closer. I don't want to be near this fucking wall. Red forest is so bad. I hate this place. The guy right there at the gate. Safe. Whoa! <laughs> that guy was an ally. <laughs> Embarrassing, but hey, we'll probably be fine. Was. <laughs> Who the hell was that? Dude. Somya. Well, I mean, he'd want me to have his cool revolver. All this stuff. I sent him to Jesus early. I probably need to go back to the cave now and make sure the whole guy, like, gang isn't like, you're evil! <laughs> Try to kill me. Hang on, I need to double back. If they shoot at me, I'm gonna reload. <laughs> this is some Judas shit right now, dude. This is not good. I'm gonna quick load if they shoot at me. Yo, what's up? Uh, I, I killed Darren. He, uh, he lunged at me. What's up? <laughs> All right, I'm good. No one fucking cares. No one gives two shits who Darren fucking was. Now let's go. They don't know. They don't care. Oh, actually, I might... Uh, I have no... I have, We're not getting any benefit out of this fucking heavy machine gun, but I will make my guy look at it for... Ah! This place is stinky. We shouldn't live here. Oh no.
Yo, whoever did the boarding job for the uh, hole, you didn't do very good. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to take the uh, hole here. That's lightning. This way is the way out. I never fall down here. This is gonna be really loud, by the way. Heads up. Oh! Ooh! I lived! Hey. Can't sell him any of this crap, but I'm just gonna donate this because I don't have a bag to use it. Did you just equip it? Dude, that thing's broken. I wouldn't fucking use that. I would not use that. I'm gonna sell him these old things. I just want to see if I can fundraise enough money to buy one med kit. One more med kit. How much is one of those? 3,000? Fuck, man. Nothing's going to be able to afford that. Guys, come on. What about, what about God? Like, uh, like, I don't know, like being charitable in the eyes of God. <sighs> Guys. What about, maybe my, maybe that mutant hunt's finished though. Yeah, that finished, I'll get paid for that. I remember that popping up. Where'd that guy, where'd that guy go? Back here. See, that's what, that's the good thing about taking mutant hunts is sometimes they just finish themselves. Job's done, $5,000, I was totally there. Wait, first of all, I heard your message. Do you need any work done? You need a guide? In six hours, he needs to be in Jupiter, southeast of the cement factory. 3,000 rubles? Six hours? Uh, pass. Six hours is a little steep. I think I might take it, but first I want to spend my money getting a med kit and healing myself first, because we don't have, like, a doctor here, I don't think. Hang on. So that gives me enough to buy two med kits. Uh, yeah, we're going to do that. We'll find bandages. Everyone has bandages. Uh, I'm gonna take this, and then we're gonna take the Yajulin we have. <laughs> and then in six hours, we need to be in Jupiter. Okay. Where is that? What's the fastest way? I'm pretty sure we got. We have to go up. That's easy. I cleared that. Wait. My god, this is... Oh, I mean... <laughs> yeah, I'll take you to Jupiter. Let's go. Holy shit! Boys! With me. We got a job to do. Everyone with me now. Everyone on me. On me. Everyone follow me. Смотреть в оба. They're not really with me. They're kind of like behind me. There they come. Boys! Watch your step. You don't want to fall into the pit. Okay, so we want every one of these guys but the guy that's paying us to die on the way so we can loot their bodies, just for the record. So we're going to really take them to some troublesome spots. Uh, that's the plan. The intention is to take them to, through like some troublesome spots so that they die. Chat, that's not evil. That's just being smart. We want to look for a pseudo giant. And from all the bullets that have been going from over there, I think there's a pseudo giant that way. We might go swing by it. That chimera that was out there killed someone after like our job to kill mutants. So there's also a chance that there is a chimera. Wow. Did this guy actually end up disappearing? Nope. This guy's got a fucking wild name. Pelagia Malanina. All right, guys, we're also gonna go in this tower and kill the guy who lives here just because. So, come on. Yep. 
bro. Yeah, that's what we're gonna fucking do. Killing the retired old man. Don't retire in the zone. I think he's acknowledging that someone's opening his lockers. Yeah, I'll be taking that and that. Oh god, they're all filing in. Guys, don't do this! Go out, wait outside! Wait outside! Wait outside! Wait outside! Guys, wait outside! How do I... What's the button that tell, lets me ping people again? I don't fucking remember. I hate... Okay, here we go. Guys, over here. Come over here. Numpad 3? Yeah. I fucking hate commanding these idiots. You guys all wait there. This is something I gotta do alone. Also, so you guys don't get me stuck. Hey. Open the fucking door. He locked me out. All right, you win. I'm getting out of here. This guy has no fucking idea how psycho I am. This guy has no fucking clue how crazy I am. He thinks that's he thinks that's gonna cut it. Fuck, I don't have I don't have an outfit to switch into. I was gonna change outfits and pretend to be someone else. And <laughs> see if he'd let me in. Defeated by a single tumbler? Shut up. Alright, guys. Found a file, that's cool. I'm gonna see if I can shoot through a window. You got windows, old man? Yeah, you fucking do. Me up there. <laughs> it's not gonna work. Fuck. Let's try to see if I scare him. Yo, you like Jesus? Open the door. Open the door. If you like Jesus, you have nothing to worry about. You cool? Open the door, man. Just open the door. I want to talk to you. I'm going to check one more time and then we go. Where are my boys? Oh, they're there. Okay. I want to see if maybe he'd react to the bullet. Okay, he's not. All right, boys, come on. All right, I'm cool. I'm cool. We're gonna get out. We gotta get these guys to Jupiter anyways. Clock's ticking. Come on, guys. Follow me. Some people acknowledge this road as the most wacky road in the entirety of the uh, zone. I'm actually like, I'm kind of like gonna do a tour thing for all of you. A lot of people think this road may be the most saturated road of bullshit. Uh, pretty much in the whole zone. Which is funny because none of the anomalies actually are on the road. It's just like, they just jam pack a lot of shit. Like right here for really no reason. Uh, no one's gonna, there's no, uh, there's no artifacts. At play. Guys, we're actually under attack. This doesn't usually happen. Get up there! Get up there! That's gonna kill off some of the boys, so... Oh, one of them's already dead. Okay, good. Uh, we're gonna let some of them die. If the guy that's paying us also dies, so be it. We'll make our money back off of all their bodies, so... Don't- don't stray from the path! <laughs> they died to a fucking renegade?! Oh, someone! Someone in our group died to a fucking renegade. 
That's pathetic. That's, uh... That's fucking sad. I know- Ah! Damn, dude. I need to get all this stuff before I leave. Even though I'm slowly dying. That's cool, that's what alcohol is for. Alright guys. You guys come forward and kill this next group too. I don't know where the guy is that uh, died. That was our guy. Uh, I didn't really have time to check with the radiation. So. Damn. Guys, so this road, honestly, it's less wacky on the sides now, so you can kind of do what you want up there. Oh, fuck me. I just got shot in the fucking throat. Uh, you guys doing all right? Dude, turn around. It's like a squad of people up there. Get him! This is all- this is all good for me. Whatever's happening, this is good for me. No matter what, it's good for me. No matter what, I come out on top. See, I do this by not getting involved in the fights. So it looks like we're fighting duty right now. We lost another guy. Oh, they won. Okay, cool. There's still another guy alive, though. Ha! Hey, get on! Rip bozo, dude. Oh, fuck me. Guys, you guys, uh, there's a uh, duty over there. That guy fucking shot me. Why would he do that to me? All right, I'm backing it up. The rest is up to you guys. Kill him or don't. I gotta quit the good gun. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Meanwhile, my team is getting killed. But, uh, I, I'm fucking thirsty. Is that a grenade? Don't know who that was towards, so I'm gonna crawl inside this tube for a minute. Otherwise known as the safest place you could be. Ah! <laughs> How did that guy get by everyone? <laughs> I deserve that, all right? <laughs> I I had what was coming to me on that one. I'll be honest. Fine. Damn, man. There's a lot of guys on this fucking road. No wonder they wanted to hire someone to take them there. What the fuck? Why is this place actually, like, fucking, like, crawling with guys? In that case, safest place to be is holding this spot right here. As soon as I, as soon as I smoke this. Yep, <laughs> yep, this is a safe place to do it. Wee wow. Ooh. Grenades aren't fair. Don't throw one of those again. Yeah, give him one for Genka. Do not throw that again. I think they threw another one. <laughs> I think I heard one of them say grenade. That's my guy. That guy ain't though. 
That was a master sergeant. He's fucking dead now. I'll tell you what. We're doing good, guys. We're doing good. Let's get up there. Just hold the line. Don't let any of them push past you to me. That's our guy. All right, they're pushing up to the next turn. I don't go any farther. I hold this. I'm going to hold this. Until they clear. Dude, these duty guys are psycho. I think they got him. I'm not looting anyone until... Motherfucker! What the fuck did that guy just... It's the end of the zone. They were walking in from the zone. We don't even get to loot them! No, dude! Whatever, I took his life. Fuck. I wish there was a way to, like, force the game to not take you out of a map until you're, like... I wish you could walk back, like, through, like, edges of zones. Fuck, man. At least none of my guys died, so I can still loot their corpses when they get killed in this fucking zone. I mean, I could go back to loot the guys that died earlier, but I don't know how much time was cost by moving up here. That's the problem. How much time usually travels? between the zones. Used to be you could hit no when asked for zone transition. Yeah, but what I mean is I want to go past the transition wall. Uh, and it won't let me do that e even if. This just, what happens here is that it just automatically transitions to the next thing without asking. Uh, it wouldn't let me pass past the like threshold where they all died. They all died past the threshold I can access. Uh, it's not a huge deal. But by default, I think time doesn't pass. I may, I know it auto saved when I did that. I don't have a, I don't have a quick save yet. Is there a fire here? I might save and go back. Cause I think some people did die earlier. I don't think time passes between zones. I'm going to go back. Cause some, one or two people did die closer. One or two people died closer. I care more about getting the loot than I do about the $3,000. Don't they despawn? Well, that's something we can find out right now. Problem is, uh, I need all the loot I can get, so if they are still there, I need to get them. This body's still here, but I think it's right... Yeah, we're not getting any of it. Yeah, that was the closest body in the fight. Yeah. Oh, well. Okay, guys. So here's the plan. We burned like five hours walking back and forth there. So we got to get you to your drop-off point as fast as possible. It's up there. This whole road is safe because it's monolith. So we just really have to get... Oh, do I drop you off there? You guys down to kill an infidel? Yo, just sound off on our on the way if you're not down to kill an uh, an infidel. Because uh, uh, I have a job for that, and I think I might just help myself to a little bit of extra help. Gonna repair my mask to get rid of that dent. All right, guys, <laughs> we gotta kill some fucking idiot. Who, uh, who doesn't believe in the th the same things we believe in, uh, apparently. Okay, fuck me. I just wish my guys were here to help. You know what I mean, guys? You die to them. You know? Like, you die to them. For once. Oh, I'm out of bandages. Hey, that's a big cat. <laughs> I have, I have Vinca. Should also heal my head a little bit. All right, medicine, then we'll just take a Vinca. Wait, those cats die though, man. Mmm, yellow pills. Mmm, yummy. That should stop my bleeding. 
Okay, I'm gonna eat some bread too. Mm -mm. My character's loadout's so fucked and I hate him, but like, I, I until I get to like Monolith Zone, I really can't like get what I like on my character whatsoever. I'm just kind of like scrambling. And the last glass of water we have too. It's okay guys, we'll stabilize soon and the bleeding's gonna stop any fucking minute now, so help me God if it fucking doesn't. So help me God if it fucking doesn't. Come on, guys. Okay. Where we at? Ooh, you guys actually down to pick up something on the way? Oh, I don't have the box for it. I was thinking I might go down and get the heart of the oasis while we're here. Uh, but I'm a little... I don't have a box to put it in. You can just go get it, by the way. Okay, I don't remember which one of our guys is the infidel over here, so pretty much just kill them all, boys. I think this is going to be a longest situation here. Yeah, this is probably going to be a long situation. They're covering like this. Ow! They fucking seriously hit that shot, guys. What the fuck? Shoot back at them! Two. Well, the solution to that's actually for me to just tell them to. Oh my fucking Jesus Christ. Okay, guys, so here's the thing. Okay, guys, so here's the thing. I'm really gonna need you to shoot at them, too. Just I'll go back for the infidel. We're being shot at. We'll go around. Come on, guys. We're not going to fight them. This place is crawling with guys. And where are my god, Dude, there's a but- hang on. There is a mod thing that gives me a button to press J and I can teleport my guys to me and force them to come to me through the fucking ether, but it doesn't work for me. I think I need to take another mod to make it actually activate. I'm thinking. I'm thinking about it. I need to enable it, I think, and I may. Because these guys aren't even listening to me. They're trying to fight those guys, but they won't shoot at them. I need to tell them, basically, to ignore combat. And then they'll come to me. Here they come. We're going to go around that. It's just too open. But then I need to take them back onto combat once we get to here, because I don't think we can cross this part without getting jumped. Combat back. No, no, no. Follow me. Fire at will. They're still all over there, by the way. Some of them even got farther away from me during that process. Look, man. <laughs> They'll figure it out. I think I just heard a pig. Oh, my character's shit's breaking again. Yep, I can't go in my inventory. God damn it. Really? Damn it, I can't open my PDA anymore. Or my inventory. I guess I'm gonna fix the ally thing then, too. Hang on, I'm gonna restart. <sighs> that doesn't usually happen, that bug. But it's happened to me twice now. Okay, where's the thing that lets me force my uh, teammates to come to me? Is it just qual- I think it's a quality of life. Uh... Optional? Quick companion teleport. Uh... Here we go. Okay. We've added it to the game.
Yeah, we just need to have it enabled, Chad, or it doesn't. It shows on, like, the bindings, but it's not there unless it's enabled. Okay, we might be... We might have spawned back at the door. We may... Not be as close to where we were before, but... At this point, I might need to disable the, like, fireplace saves. Because I feel like I'm having more bugs that are setting me back this time around than the last couple times I've played. Come on, boys. I need to test that again. Did that teleport me to them or them to me? Oh, hell yeah. You're coming with me whether you like it or not. I'm not going to abuse that, but it needs to exist because they are just not following me half the time. At least now I can kind of force them to fight what I want them to fight. Where the hell are those cats at? Yeah, now I've got the fucking edge. Isn't this a minefield? There's a cat coming. Yo, Yara? This cat, cat's coming. They're gonna seriously wait for me to turn the corner because the cats only want me. Oh no, they're just way over there, running in circles. It's like five. Can't tell if that asshole wants to like kill me or not. Look. We have to follow this route. That's the problem. If you're gonna fucking do it, then do it. Uh, there they are. My friends are such psychos. Okay, here's my plan. We are gonna cut around to here. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna go up here. And I guess, but we can't go through there. So we're gonna have to cut through the ditch. But I don't wanna go, there's so many guys by the factory area or like the sewage zone that taking that path is just psycho. Not with my AI teammates. Fucking outing me. Come on, guys. Come on. Okay. I think we'll actually cross over right here. Towards the checkpoint. And around the zap zone. We're going to go around the zap zone. You guys with me? Ain't with me enough. Come on. Oh, it'll only teleport the guy that I'm paying. Okay. That works. That's fine. At least I won't have to wait for them then. I can actually, like, just treat this as if I'm alone. That's a okay. Okay. We're going straight across the accursed field. And then we're at our destination. Obviously, the cursed field I'm talking about is the giant fucking ditch of death. Ah, uh, this thing. The fuck is that? Is that a goddamn bloodsucker? Guys, keep your wits about you. I think there might be an invisible creature over there. All right, come on, boys. We're going through the crater. We have to head through the crater if we are to do anything else. Here it is. Here it is. You're almost to your desti- You're almost to your destination. Sir, come along. We're almost there. Eurus Squeegee is dead. R.I.P. Eurus. 
R.I.P. You know, sometimes it just happens, you know? People die before they're supposed to, man. Your squeegee was... Did deserve to die. He was, uh, he was actually a fucking monster. Like, he... He would just walk up to people and just, like, headbutt them. And then he'd take all their food. He wouldn't eat it. He'd just throw it away. Like, into garbage cans. There's a reason he was a bandit. Like, he was on the run. Alright, everyone shut the fuck up. Focus up. <coughs> Focus up! We're almost to our destination. They think they're doing combat. That's funny. Guys, come on. I... Guys, come on. We're not fighting that. Come on. I knew they were fucking getting distracted. As long as the guy that needs to go here is with me, the others can go fuck themselves. I don't care. Dude. Fucking idiot meetup. It's renegades and sin. You know, I almost... I almost hate to do it to him. Oh, they're doing it first. <laughs> you guys are fucking psycho. You gotta chill. I didn't even like... Christ almighty. Dead mutant. There is a guy... Is that fucking... Is that Merc looking right at me? Well, let's loot this body in this open field really quickly. Zanada. Those bullets are totally at me and my character is dead already and that's why I'm not reacting. It's like... In as like reasonable way as many would expect. I've just kind of accepted that if they're shooting at me, I'm dead. They didn't. Come on, guys. Hey, why are there mercenaries at the monolith hull? Why? <laughs> God? <laughs> God? Uh, last I checked, I have to go that way. Uh... I'm gonna ditch these guys first though, they're slowing me down. These guys are slowing me the fuck down, so we're gonna drop them off. Alright. This is the spot, get the fuck out of here. Are we not here? How, dude, that place is irradiated. I don't wanna. Okay, dude. I need you to drop me off right here in the irradiation zone. That job's done! Do you want to climb in this fucking hole? Oh my god, he's scampering away. There's a fucking- there's a creature there. I'm gonna actually reload, because this is gonna piss me the fuck off. I have to teleport him in there about the job him before he gets distracted. While I'm dying! Here we go. Give me the money. See you never. Fucking medical expenses of that are gonna set me back. Yeah, get him! Yeah! <laughs> hey, you want any jobs done? No? Oh no. They're totally seeing us. Someone is seeing us right now. Chat, that's the problem. Yeah, that's the real issue. This place is so open and long that you can see anyone from anywhere. I think they actually harvested this guy? Damn, man. 
I wanted to loot that guy. I mean, I knew I wasn't gonna get the loot, but it's like, come on. Now, how do I get these five dead without, you know, without, you know, doing anything to them? Hey, do you want me to do like another job? Wait, huh? In 18 hours, I need to be in wild territory. <sighs> Is this like a prank? Is this guy pranking me? Am I on like film? You guys go to wild territory now? I'm not doing that. I mean, I've got my destination. I'm not doing that. Uh, any other stuff you want done? No. Okay, bye. What about you? No. You? That guy doesn't, this guy doesn't look like he belongs in sin. You guys, none of you think for yourselves. You're all just fucking followers. It's pathetic. It's pathetic. You're pathetic, the whole lot of you. Okay, chat, so I have to crawl past the mercenaries for about four miles. So I'm just gonna go prone next to the river and just do that for about 20 minutes. Is what I'm thinking. Cause that's our exit. And the mercenaries are like there. So I'm just gonna. This is our life now. <laughs> this is how we live. This is how we get out of here. Why not just kill them? You are a psycho, huh? You're like a little crazy boy. <laughs> You're like a little crazy boy. Why not just kill them? I'm part of the Sin faction. Uh, the only friends I have are really my faction. So, um, I'm not about to kill some of the only guys on my faction I have. I'm not a maniac. All right, I'm just a psycho. It's a difference. There is absolutely no way we make it up this hill. I would call this hill Kill Hill. Like, we're done. Like, I don't think we're gonna get up this thing. But I am gonna quick save my game when I get closer and really double down on it. I've got eight armor piercing rounds. That's eight instant kills. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, that's eight kills. Too bad I can't put a 9mm silencer on this fucking submachine gun. Chad, it's okay. I enabled stealth. All we have to do is sneak by these fucking goons. Okay, so here's the thing. Our exit is so close to them. But if we go up right there, we may just slip by them. Unless someone patrols to like this ridge. Once we get to the, once we get to Pripyat, we are safe. That's our zone. We win. We just have to get there, man. We just have to get there, man. How have I been doing on my skills? Not bad. Once, okay, do I have anything to speed me up? No, I was gonna see if I had energy drinks. All right, we have to run like a psycho. The second we reach this, we run like a psycho. Is that a stash? All right, I'm gonna run like a psycho once I check what's in this baggie. It might be snacks. Or it's a rock. No, it's a stash. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Oh. <laughs> oh. God, I get on my knees. I start praying to God. 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 
I need your help now more than ever. They want to, is that a dead body? Oh, it's a tire. God, do me a solid, okay? I need to just get up that rage without being attacked by mercenaries. Please help me. Please, God. Okay. <laughs> it's as simple as that, dude. God is real. God is real. Unless there's a mutant in this apartment. God wouldn't fucking do that to me. No way. It's a poltergeist. Who fucking cares? And if it ain't a poltergeist, it's about to catch 26 hollow point fucking rounds. It's a poltergeist. And there's no, there's no objects for it to throw at me right now, so I'm pretty safe. Unless it's a fire poltergeist. Hey. Let's relax. I think someone just shot the ghost. Hello? There's usually only monolith in this zone. It's kind of a shithole, but I haven't heard anyone so far. And it's kind of scaring me. Like I've heard the gunshots of one guy, but that could be anyone. And I kind of want to make sure that there's no like mercs or any bullshit here. Because we're not out of the clear. We have eight rounds of real bullets that could kill someone. And then a lot of silly rounds. Used for killing mutants. Okay. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yo, if there's someone over there, all right, I am, I am incredibly stacked with grenades, okay? I'm not fucking around. All right, they're all connected to the same line. I got a bunch of grenades. All the pins are tied together. You fuck with me and startle me, I will pull all of them at the same time. I will take this entire goddamn town down. All right, so be cool. <laughs> Monolith My friend My good friend This guy wants me to get him flesh meat Okay Easy There's some monolith living in the bus station. I'm gonna talk to them. All the fires are on, so we know they're here. I need you to get me flesh. Or I thought they'd be here. This place is... Oh, I... Nothing from him. Okay, so this place is, as expected, mostly monolith. That's what we were hoping for. 
We're gonna go to the actual place where the monoliths live, officially. And get some fucking quests, and get some stuff done properly. We've been living in squalor for long enough, it's time to start getting strapped. There's definitely not a pseudo-giant in this map. No way. There's <laughs> not a pseudo-giant. We have no reason to worry about something so specific. Kinda wanna loot that grave. I'm gonna resist. I think that would be in bad taste. It's probably Monolith that put that there. Let's just go find the monolith boss, Rabbit. That's who we're looking for, right? He's alive, right? See, the problem is, chat, I just asked it to zoom in on Rabbit, but it didn't give me, like, the actual waypoint. It just sort of showed me the zone, which actually kind of worries me. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Ain't no, 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 no. We need to get inside. It's a fucking fire dog outside! Did it kill everyone in the monolith? Get upstairs. Oh my god. It's actually after me. It's trying to fucking kill me. Where's everyone? Ah! Fuck up! They're in the back. I know they're in the fucking back. But I don't want to get got by a fucking side dog. Monolith. Oh, oh, thank God. It's good to see you, slaps ass. Yashka Manul. All right, let's grab some fucking quests. Let's get this job done. You guys make this? Turka, Trusilent, cool, cool. You got any quests? Oh uh, yeah, actually, can you uh, can you pick up a full empty artifact for me if you get the chance? Yeah, I can do that. All right, cool, thanks, man. <laughs> uh, this guy's nothing. I'm gonna save. <laughs> Is it against the rules to light a fire this close to the uh, thing? They'd probably tell me if it was. Nothing from him. Nothing. There's a lot of monolith. They all stand around in such menacing positions, but none of them actually have anything to do. Yo, where's Rabbit at, dude? He's down here? Yo, where's... He's gotta be down here, yes. He's in the depths. He's in like the crypt. Oh yeah, Ra Rabbit's a crypt guy, I'm guessing. You Rabbit? No, that's Krolik. Uh, any work you want done? My son, your brothers need you to collect 13 side blocks? Thirteen side block. Okay, I also finished the. That is what he wants done. That's, dude. My job as sin to this guy is to literally just be a like. Fucking like delivery boy. That was the official monolith quest I was given. 
Oh yeah, we need someone to pick up drugs. I mean, I don't use side blocks, it's just a lot. Any other work? Yeah, can you give me eight loaves of bread? <laughs> okay, anything else? Yeah, can you give me 11 pseudo dog meat? Anything else? Can you give me the OGS 14 Groza? Yeah. Anything else? Can you fucking kill someone for me? What? Can you fucking, can you take a man's life? I need him deactivated. I need you to kill Mark. Mark? Mark? He lives near a bread ba a bakery. Bakery. You can pick up the bread on the way, but I need you to kill Mark. Hey. Okay. Anything else? No, I'm 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 good. So like the order of urgency is like Mark. Then bread, then cyblock. No, no, I actually, uh, it's the cyblock and bread first. Mark is kind of like a bonus. Hey, I'm hungry. Is it awkward if I eat a piece of bread in front of him? Hey. Any work you want done? 28 lives. What? 28 loner lives are what I desire. <laughs> okay, man. <laughs> Relax. Okay. Relax. I'll do it. Any other work? Nope. Any work you can take me? Sure, yeah, I could take you to like uh, Jupiter, Red Forest, Outskirts, Pripyat. How much do those cost? Damn, this dude does it on the cheap. It's not bad then. Hey. Any work you want done? Tools. Yeah, I can get tools. Uh, I'm definitely not gonna take him to the Sin Boys. So, anyways, man, what I wanna do for you is sell a bunch of crap to you. Can you do that? Can you take all my crap? That's a, not a, that's a fucking good kit. There. Uh, I need a multi-tool. That's like gonna have to happen. But I don't know if I need it yet when I kind of need medical more. Hang on, what do you, uh... Do you sell things? Okay, this guy is the guy who sells everything for the, uh... Wait, what? If this was higher quality, I could use this with, uh, I could use, like, I could make, like, a tactical pistol. Well, unfortunately, I'm so cursed financially right now that really I'm selling everything that's not nailed down. Uh, normally I'd use these things for crafting, but I don't even have a space to make a uh, bag yet, so I'm not even going to bother trying. Uh, what I need is ammo. If I can deconstruct all the ammo, I will do those. Probably. Disassemble, 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 disassemble. We only use 19 by 9 right now. So that's what we're going to use. Thank God he sells FMJ. 60. <laughs> All of my money! How much healing do I still have? We have a lot of healing. We'll be okay. Bullets, I think, are more important. Oh, hell yeah. I wish they sold, I wish they, uh, sold AP, but they don't. Hang on, maybe they sell sights? They might sell a sight for this gun? Who am I kidding? Of course they fucking don't. All right, chat, we're not getting much of anything done unless we start getting on their good sides. I, uh, I think we all know that now. So here's how I think we get on their, uh, good sides. We have to do jobs. We don't have much of a choice. Uh, what's the nearest job we have? <laughs> what? 
<laughs> Dude, that one. Fuck! It, did he give me a job to kill Strelok? No! Uh, hold up! That is... Sorry for spoilers for the game. Okay, but in the story mode, you meet up with Strelok there. Did they send me to kill him and everyone he knows? I think they just sent me to do that. Oh, fuck. Well, I need AP rounds. <laughs> I, I'm like, Chad, that's the thing, though. I'm like, I could do it if you gave me AP rounds. I could do it any day of the week you send me there with AP rounds. I'll do it. But they're going to have exosuits. <laughs> Anything else that's, like, cheaper? Anything else that's, like, uh... You know, a little bit more affordable for me. I'm not going to have to invest so much time into. But, like, the thing is, every... I don't even... All of the other quests I were given, like, I was given, were, like, fuck off and find me 80,000 loaves of bread. So, like, really, what the, what the guy basically said is, go do this or don't come back, is what he said. Go kill Strelok or don't come back at all, is what he said to me. I have to kill Mark or kill Strelok. Well, if we're gonna go kill Mark, we'd have to fastest route be through radar into Red Forest. That's safe. Radar is safe for me. I could do radar. I think we could do radar Red Forest because we actually are like kind of loot. We don't have enough other loot to really like comfortably survive. I think we have to do radar. Ain't radar giga radioactive? Yeah, but the alternative is going to kill the protagonist of the plot. Ch chat. Chat. Chat, you guys need to understand Skirt the Nasty is not the main character. If I go there, I'm fucking dead. It gets... Dude. I wish Skirt the Nasty was as nasty as Outskirts, but he's not. Shit gets so nasty out there. I don't stand too fucking... I, I'm not going to last a second out there. It's going to get so nasty. I'm a tutorial. I'm a tutorial. I need... It's like going to be packed in there. I need. We need to do radar. We're doing radar. We're gonna do radar, chat. We're not doing that yet. Yet. All right. Yet. And here's the only way I'd do it. If I had like five to ten grenades, and like not the ones I, not the ones in my inventory right now. Uh, like the good ones. I have one like average, fucking RGD grenade. I'd need like the good fragmentation grenades to want to do that, because I'd need to fill that building with grenades. That's how, that's also quietly how you beat most of this game is by filling the building with grenades. Cause, uh, motherfucker. The side dog is still alive. Maybe they'll follow me towards the other guys. Hey, there's a uh, dogs coming. So I'd let you guys know. <laughs> Best of luck, idiots. No way. Fine, dude. I guess I'm putting down a side dog while I'm out today. I may be putting down a side dog while I'm out today. Uh, if this dog doesn't fuck off in the next couple minutes, I'm gonna have to hunt him down and fucking kill him. Because I have to go that way to leave. I'm gonna try to go around it. Cut through buildings. But, uh, I may have to fucking deal with this. 
Dude, hey, Zora? Hey, Zora Radv Radkovich? Who fucking asked, man? That guy died in swamps. You let me know when something dies in fucking Pripyat, all right? And until then, shut your yap. I'm trying to focus. What does it die? Everyone dies this way. They actually made it worse. Gamma, you, I, one of the things I kind of enjoyed about Gamma uh, last time I played was that the swamps weren't that radioactive. Now they're super radioactive, which is realistic and fine. Now it's you touch the water, you, you, you don't realize you touch the water. You are already dead. You died. The swamps are now the hardest zone, I think, feels like. Just for how miserable the water is. God, uh, God doesn't go to the swamps. Root rot anomaly. Yeah, but how close is that to radar? Oh my god. I can't remember if this hole has a uh, exit on the other side. It doesn't. Yeah, we're gonna have to deal with this fucking dog. I wish I had binoculars. I should have got them. Yeah, honestly, I should have gone back around that way. Because now I'm being, I'm being funneled in. Whatever. I feel safer inside than out for this. But that dog is totally going to come after me. Woo! And that's why you loot the building. It's hard to get used to the fact that, like, on Gamma, I don't think it's the case so much in Anomaly. In Gamma, there is a lot of loot on, like, building shelves and stuff, which I really like. I like finding a lot of free shit. Okay, this was where the dog attacked me, so if it rotated anywhere else... Okay. Okay. I'm going to probably... I'm going to take this. But, uh... If this fucking dog thinks this bait is going to trick me into lowering my guard... You got another thing coming. But I am, uh... I'm, I'm not going that way. That place is all lightning. So I guess I'm going this way. But I'm not going in there. That place sucks. 800 IQ dog. Well, I mean, like, if I could project fucking, like, images with my brain that could actually, like, damage someone, I would assume my IQ is pretty high, too. I'd pretty confidently say I'm quite strong. What's up, man? Danya Terminator the trainee. Bro? What is your fucking deal? Yeah, you're a master Bogdan eagle-eyed. Can't fucking see two feet in front of him enough to tell that I'm on your fucking team. You fucking asshole. I have half a mind to quick save and instantly kill the two of you for that one. Matter of fact, I literally may. You need to chill. You're stressing me out. What's up? You wanna hang? Doesn't have anything to do. He doesn't even have anything good on him. Like, let me just... Normal pistol? The suit would be the only thing good on him, and I'd break when I kill him. This guy's thing's not bad. He's got another AUG. <laughs> Dude, it must have... Maybe that guy pointed his gun at me because he clocked the fact that I was looking at his, like, his... Wait. Damn, man. He must be going to kill that dog. Maybe he wasn't after me. I should get out of here. That guy's a le that guy's a master. He's a legend. I'm not even exaggerating. That's that was him, Chad. That was him. That was. Hang on. What's that guy's fucking name? That was Bogdan Eagle Eye. He's in the top ten. That's an incredibly powerful warrior. So, can someone explain to me the reason that a lot of the highest tier stalkers in the game are all monolith, according to, like, the statistics? 
Is that just because monoliths have typically higher gear stats? Or is there like, is it just like a lore thing where it's like, ha, ah, all the oldest stalkers end up going over to monoliths one way or another? Because <laughs> that's how like I half interpreted it while I was playing it. They do a lot of killing. Yeah. Ah, that's a cozy fire. A cozy bone fire. Yeah, I'll save to that. So, uh... <laughs> so, here's the... Th there we go. Alright, so we got cut through radar. The bad part of this trip is actually going to be army warehouses. I don't think it's going to be radar. Uh, army warehouses, we have to deal with, um, probably mercs or freedom. Everyone here is friends with me. And we're not cutting through the really dense part. So this guy, what is he? It's gonna suck no matter what. It's gonna suck. And we're probably gonna eat a ton of radiation right now. Look at how much we just got walking by a car. Yeah. Keep your wits about you. Thanks for the bismuth sulfate coating. Don't like that sound. Hang on. Okay, that's fucking radioactive. Never mind. I was gonna jump on something and try to. It might have just been the sound of that. God damn it! I keep forgetting the cars are always the most radioactive in these games. I think there's a little little uh, hamster dying over there. Is what the sound is. <gasps> Ignore that. That's the sound of my guy being healthy. We're leaving. Now, this stretch is mostly mutants, uh, for the record, so we're not safe. We are not safe, for the record. Uh, the amount of times I've come into radar and had at least one pseudo-giant in front of me is not zero. I'll tell you what. Bros, what's good? Nothing. Nothing. Mwah. You guys have a good one, alright? I'm gonna travel into the shitty part of town. So I'm guessing at least a Bureau is gonna try to stop me. At least a Bureau. Hopefully he won't steal my gun. Where's my gun? Okay, he just put it down for a second. Something's activating that over there. Nothing over there aren't monoliths this deep into it, I don't think. So everything else is mutants. It's another fracture. It's fine, this isn't radioactive, so I can actually. Nope, the car is radioactive. Fine. I can't go around him. I gotta deal with him. Alright. But I might be able to trick him into walking into an anomaly. By ping a shot at him. Ha! Fucking idiot! That might be the most embarrassing shit I've seen all day. Pathetic. Hang on. This place is like crawling with anomalies. 
I don't want to do a token save. All right, skirt. <laughs> There's a fire hurt too. It's too bad. There's probably I think there's gonna be one more mutant that I have to deal with. I think. Maybe not. I kinda wanna go in there quick. Because I think there might be actual loot in that thing. Hang on. This is probably dumb. Because I know mutants spawn. Oh, yep. There it is. There's that radiation, dude. I know stuff spawns in here. And I'm a greedy piece of shit. Honestly? Kind of worth it for the bandage. We haven't been getting as many of them as I need. Honestly, kind of worth it. Cause we can drink an alcohol, an alcoholic beverage and be all right. No Chimera, don't do it. Don't. I think this part's another monolith checkpoint. I think this is usually monolith here, not mutants. I need to rebind something that's bugging me. Mouse four, free look. The fr I don't like free look being where it is because it keeps recentering my vision when I press it. If we press it just once, it recenters you in a really weird way. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna give it a little bit longer, but then I might switch it. I keep thinking it's my. I keep thinking it's my melee attack. Look at all this treasure! This is why I gotta break open the fucking boxes, Chad! You never know how much glue you're gonna find in these fucking things. You know how much porn I pull out of these boxes a day? It's a lot. Okay, it's a lot of porn. It's mostly porn. Owned. How is the warp mode in this mod? I would not recommend it, especially not on Gamma. There's uh, some work, there's like some patches that fix it up a little, but Warfare in general on Anomaly is the crustiest part of the whole thing. It breaks down pretty quick. It's not very fun without additions and stuff. Uh, it's very buggy. It's busted. It's more of a novelty than a real mode. Okay, hopefully this place is scarred by monolith right now. We know where we're going. And it's gonna suck eggs. I wish it was nighttime. We should probably heal. <laughs> I need to sneak at least long enough to confirm if I'm here with people or alone and if I'm not alone who is it could have sworn I saw an anomaly shimmer in front of me but I was wrong I'm not fucking seeing anyone. That's what kind of weeks me out the most of all. No monolith? Alone in warehouses, huh? Son of a bitch. It's not a good day to be sin, I'll tell you what. No anomalies, no monolith. This place is squeaky clean. 
And that's bad for me. I think people live there. I might go kill them. All alone. Completely isolated. Without even binoculars. Let's take this slow then. Our destination's way over there. We gotta kill a guy who's definitely well defended then if there's no monolith around. Mine. Literally my house now. Thought I heard a guy. Shut the fuck up. I think I did hear it. Oh no, I'm just hearing like a seagull. We live like this now. We're gonna have to... We're gonna have to stake out this motherfucker for a couple of days until he drops his guard and then we'll pop him with a submachine gun from a hundred yards away. We're not soaking as much radiation as it looks like we are, I promise. God damn it. Fuck, man. <clears throat> We're gonna die. This is totally the end of our run. We should have gone and killed Strelok. Should have gone and killed Strelok. We should have taken the Strelok one. We could still cut back to Red. We could still cut into Red Forest, though. And just meet up with our boys. There's Monolith. Ants in there. Is that a fraction? No, that's just zombies. Whom I am not friends with anymore. We are not okay. This is something I want to check up here. The Newton Anomaly is one of the easiest anomalies in the game to get artifacts out of, I swear to God. Because it's only like three anomalies. There's only like three little points on it. More like Dutton Anomaly. Shut up. I don't want to aggro anyone by shooting my gun but I might have to deal with these zombies. Okay. Red forest. Is there any reason I'd want to double back there instead of doing what I'm doing? No. The guy's leaving. We got a mobile guy right now. He's starting to wiggle around. He's getting nervous. Good. That's what we want. That's the only chance we fucking have. We need that guy to move around. Really glad it... Holy shit, he's going into Bloodsucker Village. This might just take care of itself. This might just take care of itself. Which would be good, because this is a bandit camp, and I don't really want to deal with it, because it might also be freedom. No, he's stopping at the checkpoint. Fuck. All right. Well, first step, then, when you figure out this place is occupied. It almost always is. Yeah, he's... That guy's moving. He's fighting someone. That's not at me. Yes, it is. Change your plans. I think that's duty. We can't do that. All right, we're gonna go to the red forest. If they hit me, we're dead. Those are duty. We have to cut the red forest. All right, we're gonna go to red forest. We're gonna ask around there at the monolith checkpoint for quests. Uh, 
because they'll still they will be there. We can cut through there. And here's what I'm thinking. Go through Red Forest. Okay. Cut through Red Forest into Lemansk. Cut through Lemansk. Into Dead City. Cut through Dead City. Back into army warehouses. Take his life from behind. Tis the way of Skirt the Nasty. It's just a shame he dies to a chimera. Right now. Surely this is gonna be Monolith and not Mercs. I believe this is another place that can shuffle. I'm looking for an experienced stalker. That can lead me to army warehouses. I'm in Red Forest, west of the bridge. West of the... Mishenka Red Hand. <laughs> but that could just be a monolith guy asking people, like, to trick that, like, to trick people into taking that job. Yes, he's... Yes, whoever asked for that job is right here. Yes, it... Surely that's... Shut the fuck up. That's Sin. That's Sin. That's my boy. That's my boy. That's, this is, this right here, this is my boy, man. This is one of my best friends, Lonya. This is my best friend, Lonya Cockroach. How you doing, man? Yeah, you have a good one. I'll do that. Yeah, I'll kill that. I'll kill that fucking mutant. At night? At night? That game, the game claimed open field there, but that ain't an open field. That's about the most closed part of the map you can get to. Yo, that's Monolith, man. That's my boys. Although I think this place is uh, actually dripping with so much radiation, they'll kill me if I go near them. Give quests. Give, give quests. Come, co you're in the radiation. Come closer, please. Please give quests. Please. Come just like five steps closer. Fucking damn it. Any work you want done. This is the guy that wanted to pay me. He didn't and he, he doesn't want the quest anymore. Fuck. He doesn't want me to guide him anymore. Well, what do you give me otherwise? Son of a bitch. I mean, I can't really cross the bridge very easily to get that guy. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to do the nocturnal thing. On account of it being a chimera. And that just... Not really being my scene. Uh, I would say that that... I would, I would describe that as not my scene. Uh, I'm getting hungry and thirsty. And this guy wants me to go to wild territory. You want me to go to wild fucking territory and kill a guy for you? The most inaccessible shithole from here. You want me to get you like you want to give me like uh get you some dinner while I'm at it, man? You fucking ass, dude. You gotta give me jobs that only really work if I have hollow point. Okay, that's like really the only ones that can do it. And that sounds like I got pushed through a lot of duty guys, and they don't really die to hollow. Oh my god, I can't believe how long this day's been. I just want to like sleep. If that makes sense. Where's Cockroach? Where's my boy at?
Yo, where cockroach at? Where the hell did that goon go? Is that a lit fire? Did he light a fire over there? What is that? It's not a fire. Why, why does it look like there's like a lit f Is that an anomaly? There's a stash right there. There's a case. He crawled under my fridge. No, he freaking didn't. Don't be mean to my boy. That's my best friend. That's my pal. All right. Also, bad news. The only thing that makes sense right now is to go back to army warehouses. Chat. God, I don't want to do army warehouses, man. We're going to die. Okay, we need to think about actual options. This unacceptable not going to happen. We could go back. No, there's nothing up there for me. There's nothing. Be walking in circles. Our only choices are to go either A, to Lamant, push through that bridge and just take the radiation and cure it, and then go down through Dead City, kill every mercenary on Dead City. Okay, the only option is army warehouses. <laughs> when I say that second part out loud, it just doesn't really seem right. It just doesn't seem like, it seems like that's less possible. I just have to kill every merc in the game at once with a submachine gun with hollow point. Sounds like you're dead either way. It ain't easy being nasty. All right. <laughs> it ain't easy being nasty. No one ever said it was. There's someone over there making noise. Okay, here's what we do. I call this. I call, it's at, we're gonna do a hit and run. <laughs> okay, your pistol's unloaded. It's also garbage. Uh, I've just been keeping it on my bar for some reason. It's not gonna shoot a fucking bullet, but thanks for reminding me, I guess, with an at. Uh, it was never going to shoot a bullet to begin with. It's broken. Uh, I have a grenade. <laughs> so what if... I Either way, the guys who live here have to die. The guys who live here have to die. And then I have a grenade. One grenade. But here's the thing I'm thinking. If we can get in here and kill some guys, then when they notice me, I can run to this tree and use it to protect me while I run back to Red Forest 18 times. No one dares follow me into Red Forest. It's too dangerous. People talking. save even though it doesn't matter why am I getting fucking texts right now I can't handle it Well, I don't even know if this is real or if this is like ambience at this point. Yeah, 
No, it's coming from there. Something's making noise in the base. In this section. I think I just saw a guy in the window. Oh yeah? That took how many bullets? Damn, my guns suck. I think I missed most of them now. Because I'm on fucking automatic instead of semi what I'm supposed to be on. I don't like being here because that ridge is so fucking lethal. But I feel kind of safe against like this cliffside. Sorry if I'm being quiet, this part's really stressful. I need this place totally secure. Picture of someone? That's mine. One guy, huh? I don't know what- I guess the sounds I'm hearing are from something farther away. This was just like a traitor. May not even have been a gr no, he totally was. Maybe. I don't know. It's dead now. Everyone dies to me, all right? That's the one, that's the one constant I have. I'm not gonna let them ruin it for me by not having factions. I'm gonna save. Chat, I truly think the best bet we have is to wait till nighttime and then use, like, actually use the headlamps to ID our target and kill him. You know what I mean? I think we sleep here. Wait till it's nighttime. Go for him then. He's so deep in there, though. There's also a chance that if we wait until nighttime, he'll be moving. There's also a chance I just wake up dead. I'm not tired of him to sleep. Son of a bitch. Well, I can't really push him. Like this. God damn it. This is like so hard. I hate when guys are guarded here. Like when I have an objective to kill someone in this fucking patch of like bullshit. It's so obnoxious every time. What the heck is that shit? Chill. stay here we're safe while we think of a plan there's no radiation here not enough to matter and we're well surrounded by these lovely rebounder this place, this place might not be that fucking safe. Uh, we may want to get the frick out of here. Chad, it's okay. I have a grenade. <laughs> we're gonna be fine. I'm getting the angle, and then we're gonna kill him with a grenade. Okay, like, I don't... There's really not that much to be worried about. Unless someone sees me while I'm approaching.
We're officially as close as I can get without getting shot. Yeah, that's gonna be a fucking problem. It's Mercs. If it was Freedom, I'd feel a little better. This spot is actually where NPC leave Sind Runter the map. Leave and enter the if if NPC squad spawn on me, I reload because that's bullshit, to be clear. Uh yeah, I don't if that happens, uh I reload. As I would assume anyone would. Yeah, we're gonna have to just deal with these guys from out here. They're gonna get help unless those guys were duty by Bloodsucker Village. I think my best bet's actually to like let one or two of them try to approach me, kill them, and then run back. He's running out. Where is he? It's by the corner. It's him right there. I don't see the guy that's shooting at me right now. <laughs> nice fucking try, assholes. Sweep that, pussy. I love using anomalies as fucking combat zones. <laughs> Enemies don't like walking in them. Which gives me at least a little bit of breathing room. All right. I don't know the name of my guy, but that's a master tier enemy. Get off of this. Fuck out of here. That was a grenade. They are shooting silence bullets at me. It's time to fall back. <laughs> that was something pinging by my head. That's silence. I think that's the master. Well, the only bullets I have left are a uh, 49 hollow point and some AP. 8 AP, to be specific. I want to loot these bodies really bad. And I know it's greed. I want to loot them so bad. That's what I was hoping for. It's my guy. Got him. That's what a repeller does. One bullet of AP left, switching to FMJ. <laughs> Let me heal and hope no one sees me.
I need to loot those bodies if I can. That's the problem. Like, I'm so poor. So, like, I'm willing to quick save and lose a life trying to loot these guys. Starting with you. <laughs> Man, it's so hard to see those things. Yeah, I deserve that. Those are hard to fucking see. In this, did anyone even see that one? Where is it? Hello? He's on it. Let me have him. Please, he's like right on it. I got it. The problem is I didn't want to die because it resets all their fucking AI. That means the chances are way higher that I get jumped. Now everyone out here is going to be like reset and acting weird. Too bad I can't put a silencer on that. Okay. Wait, still looking good. I need to loot that the uh, guy. Oh, L eighty five A two. There's still a guy left. I swear, I just heard someone. I swear to God, I heard someone. What is going on with this pistol? Also, uh, drop this and drop this. I don't really care about that. Got those. I only, I'm not gonna loot the whole place. I don't really wanna die, die. But uh, I do wanna at least get the body of the guy uh, from the target, like for the quest. If that's possible. I think they sent me to kill a master tier guy by the way, which is looking very possible from how good his loot is. Am I greedy? I only killed one guy over there. I'm not going for it. We're going to back up. All right, we're heading back. We're going back. Because I don't know if there's more. Because we technically reloaded. So the AI. There may be more guys placed there again. Or some weird fucking shit. It's happened to me before. I don't want to get too greedy. What? Look at this fucking gun. This stupid thing. So this is an HK USB match tactical. That's a good pistol. That's one of the ones that uses the, uh, one of the mod boxes. Too bad I can't attach anything to this poor gun. If it was repaired, it would be really good, but I don't have any tools to repair it. Nor do I have a basic toolkit yet. Nor do I have anything at all. Okay. So where's the guy I need to hand this one into? All the way back, huh? Yeah. Looks like we're headed back, brother. All the way back. Looks like we're gonna take a little trip all the way back through radar. At night. <laughs> you guys excited? We get to do it this time, but at night. It's gonna be sun's gonna be set by the time we get there. Maybe we'll bump into a controller. Wouldn't that be fucking fun? We're not going through Red Forest. I'm not doing the Red Forest quest. Although. Chat, what constitutes as nocturnal? Like, I know what nocturnal means, but what does that mean? When is the quest legally allowed to start? 
because what I'm thinking is it is right next to my it's right next to the sin cave So I know it's a Chimera. It's right next to the Sin Cave, though. It's right next to Slutsky's Rest. Okay. And it's 6.30 p.m. We could cash out. We have we have a lot of hollow points. I think you can do Nocturnal anytime. I'm not a coward! I am not a weenie! We're going in! And we're going in now. I'm going to the bathroom. I'll be right back. <laughs> Why is it raining? <laughs> Why? Why? Maybe it'll trick that nocturnal creature into being even less nocturnal. I mean, we're fucking dead. Like, if that thing comes after us, we're dead. Our best bet is to fucking scam some other idiots to fight it with us. So we really... We really need to hope it's, uh, this Chimera chills for a fucking minute. And this brings me back. Back in another, uh, time when I played this game. I got jumped right here by a Chimera. It was right in this very spot. It was right here. It happened right here. Uh, well, I mean, look, the thing is, that, that fire's lit. Okay, those guys just fucked themselves. Let's go. Those guys just outed themselves. Now I know they're there. Which means, <laughs> which means, okay, we bait the Chimera to them. Whoever they are. They're probably bad. It, that didn't just happen. That was the ambience. That wasn't the blowout sound. That tells me it's ambience. Because it happened again. Why am I doing this? This is so stupid. Like, this is actually dumb as fuck. Like, I, I know this is... <laughs> I know this is not a good call. Like, the one place you don't want to fight a fucking Chimera is w is in the woods. Because there's so many fucking... There's so many fucking anomalies and stuff to accidentally run into. And my guy wants to fucking nap. Andy wants to fucking nap. How radioactive is it over here? Because I'm gonna go inside the uh, fire room and gotta do it every time, you know, just like fucking skip out on doing the most fun part of this cave. Gotta do it every time.
Come on. Fucking bad guns. <laughs> Ow! Okay, they hate me. Fine! Just everyone chill. Alright, thought it'd be funny. <laughs> I didn't think they'd connect the dots and be like, he killed us. I forgot how smart AI could truly be. But it was funny. Anyways. Time to die. The rain makes it doubly unfun. Set the gun to full automatic. We have like 60 to 90 rounds, as long as we don't miss the Chimera, it should die in that range. And we have a grenade, which won't matter because that thing is not going to get hit by a fucking grenade. It's too fast. If it, hit me, it hits me once, I'm dead. I should probably drop some stuff, but I'm not gonna, but I should. All right, Chimera, it's you and me. I can't remember, Chet. This is an important thing that I'm hoping one of you will tell me honestly while I approach. I know for a fact a lot of mutant things in this game, they're already pre-spawned. For some reason, I remember that whenever I've done these ones with it, when it's a Chimera, it spawns when you get there and gets you. So I'm worried I'm going to get it attacking me from behind. The fuck was it? Huh. Easiest job of my fucking life. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Hey, you know what? You know what? Don't hate the player, hate the game. Okay, Chet. I don't know what to say. Where do I hand this in? Oh, the guy's behind me. Oh, I forgot it's Cockroach. He's never gonna believe this. <laughs> Cockroach is never gonna believe how easy this was. Dude. I love it. My favorite thing in Stalker is when, when like, AI does my quest for me. And then I get killed on the way to hand it in. Usually. Where's my best friend? In an anomaly field? In an anomaly field. In an anomaly field. In it? In it. Yo, uh, cockroach! What the fuck are you doing? Dude, I can't go in there or I die, man. What are you doing? I can't even fucking see. You're gonna, you're gonna invisible wall slope me? Oh my god, this guy. Do I huck a grenade in there? To like, scare him? Fucking see him. He's right by that tree looking like a creature. I love it when I get so close to an anomaly that I get the like actual lore for it. The really fun part of this quest is figuring out how to get to Lianca Cockroach, the rookie who doesn't know he's in an anomaly field. And I also really like that. You know what's a really nice fucking touch? How when my guy ran out of bolts, which he just ran out, uh, the next thing he pulled out was his fucking grenade. It's a good thing I caught that. 
and it's raining, so I can't see. I'm running. You fucking absolute asshole. Job's done. $5,000. Anything else you want done? Good. You have a good fucking life, man. I've gained more trust among fanatics. I mean, that's cool. That's good. I hate running out of anomalies. I need to sleep. Our closest bed we own is, uh... Oh, we don't actually own a bed in, um... In Old Mine? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding? Are you guys for real? Okay, we're gonna go... <laughs> we're gonna go... Back now to army warehouses where we will sleep inside the shithole. Surely you got a sleeping bag, right? Do you know how fucking poor and destitute I am? Because <laughs> evidently from your question, you don't. Yeah. We're gonna have to sleep next to the mercs that we killed. It's okay. It's gonna be alright. Oh, LMAO, look at this poor. He's on that nasty grind set. It ain't easy being nasty. No one ever said it was. No one, no one thinks it is. All right. It's fine. This place, this place may never recover from the kills I delivered upon them. So it should be quite easy to sleep here for the night. No one would be dumb enough to come back here after I came storming through. Literally killing this guy. Alright, good night. See you in the morning. An anomaly happened. An, an emission occurred, Jet. Don't you see? That or it's about to happen. Nah. No, no, no. Let's get the hell to radar and get the hell out of here. Let's get the fuck out of here. A nocturnal emission. Really scary shit that would be. Glad I slept through it. Slept like a baby right through the entire blowout. Good thing too, I'm freaking scared of blowouts, dude. That's like the scariest thing I could possibly think of other than like a controller like locking onto me right now while I'm in this open field and fucking actually exploding my head. Uh... But immediately before it delivering one of the most ear-shattering sounds directly into my headphones, into the headphones of all of you at the same time. That's the scariest thing. But we lucked out and that didn't happen. Let's just go back to base. Monolith base. Not, uh, not Sin base. The Sin guys have nothing for us. <laughs> Guys, Sin really, really what we're playing is Monolith, but with a fancier name and less rights. <laughs> That's what we are. We're Monolith with like less rights. But what about the Lord? What about the Lord? You think the Lord Jesus Christ would want us to wander through radar? Probably not. Damn, this guy freaking died so hard, dude. And then people stole the whole bottom and back of his truck. 
Mate, it really makes you think. What do you guys think the order was for that? Like, cause that truck, someone had to steal that. That doesn't just like fall off and disappear. That had, that was that guy brought out like that? Was he put in there? What happened? We should keep our wits about us. At any moment, another creature could jump out. Matter of fact, I think I hear one. Uh. Yeah. It's kind of pathetic that the way I get food is by breaking boxes because I can't afford real food. Not like anyone would sell me any to begin with. It's kind of sad. Oh, five, five pennies. A, a wonderful bounty. Oh, I've soaked so much radiation. I made a mistake. And thus, all the money I made from those rubles is gone. Because drinking that alcohol cost me 5,000. You can never win. Always playing catch up. What's up, boys? Mark Salesman. I killed a Mark recently. Is it worth going to the radar base? and seeing if I can get some quests from all the monolith there. I'm wondering. Feels like it might be worth it. What is that sound? Is that just the brain scorcher? It sounds like an anomaly is having a, a problem. Well, I don't need lights here. Just gotta be careful of all the radiation. It's scarily quiet. There's less mutants at this point. Because most of the difficulty now is the uh, 8,000 monolith. So we're relatively okay. I think we go straight to, uh, straight back. Straight back to Pripyat. It'll save us some money. We're gonna be going back south anyways, because going north, we have no quest for it. Why'd we do it? There's so much radiation up there, we'd be dooming ourselves. Pointlessly. So we're heading back up to Pripyat, brother. Brother. He's fine. <laughs> He's fine. Don't listen to his gasps. He's fine. <laughs> Dude. You literally only got like a sievert of radiation. It's not even that much. What's up? Bogdan, good to see you. Chill. Wait. Dennis? Dennis fucking dragon? Is there anything you want done? No? Okay. Guys. Dennis the dragon is... Wait. Dennis, when I look through you, uh, when I look through this, I- Oh, there you are. Your reputation is terrible. Guys. What are you gonna fucking do? Shoot me? I'm the protagonist. I wouldn't fucking do it. You guys die if I quick load. 
Your existence ceases to exist. Don't you understand? You kill me. You die. I'll delete the fucking game. Then you cease to exist. You guys think they killed that side dog? Cause that's what like uh that's what that other guy was running up here to do, right? To kill that side Man, someone really likes stealing just the asses of trucks. Wait a minute. Damn, someone really likes picking up trucks and just moving the front of them somewhere else. Pointlessly, for for truly no reason at all. I think a pseudo giant does that? All right, side dog. Come on out. Let's do this clean. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh shit. I love it when my perfect gun jams. Stop. I love it when my perfect gun jams. Sorry, dude. You're gonna have to do more than that to fuck with my psyche. That wasn't my hollow points, which is probably the reason this guy's still alive. I can't believe these guys, th this fucking dog's still alive. <laughs> what happened? I thought those two were master legends. No fucking way you're coming over here to steal the kill. I will put you down. I mean, it's still help! Prick. Oh my god. Semi auto, please. I'm really glad he got confused right there. His aim sucks. That guy's aim sucks. Mine's way better. I got brain delay, which is why I miss sometimes when I shoot guns. <sighs> Piece of shit. I got brain latency, it's a disease. You guys actually can't, shouldn't make fun of it. If you look bad. That was just a pseudo dog. Wait, what? No, that was a side dog. I saw shit come out of his body. I saw like the creatures emerge. That's a side dog. Why would- why wasn't it labeled as a side dog? Me should get to base. We should- we should get to base. We should get to base. You see, the reason I like monoliths so much is that they have, uh, they live in such a lovely home right next to a Ferris wheel. The home's name is, uh, Sheepimook. Uh, she, 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 Yo, what's up? You, uh, you getting killed by that side dog? You best be fucking thinking harder about that when you stupid bald creep. But this one's just a mutant dog. What the hell's going on around here? Nah, that was a side. That was a side dog. That was some kind of. Hey, man. Dennis, you were struggling with that? And now where are you going? Now I'll follow Dennis. Let's see where he's going. If he dies, it's good for me. I get his loot. If he wins, 
get whatever he kills. Or he's taking me home. Doesn't have anything for me. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> This guy wants me to go to army warehouses and get him secrets. God damn it. Why? 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 Well, what else do I have? I know I have a quest to hand in. Uh, you know what I would really love this game to have though? More than anything I think in this entire world is just like a more zoomed in mini map I can enable. Job done. Fentanyl? Oh, hell yeah! Yo, what the fuck? Thanks, man. <laughs> Yo! So what's that do for me? Damn, it doesn't have any downsides, really, other than saying it's unhealthy. What the heck? can use that to heal myself. Right on. And I got Hercules, which is steroids. So what's next on my guy's job list to do? I can't do it. I can't do that one. That one's not a job for me. That's for a stronger version of me. That's a freebie if I could get there. But the odds of me getting there are low. Yep. Michael Arrow, fentanyl smuggler. I see a lot of people uh, attributing some uh, pretty just wildly incorrect quotes uh, from me. I I do need to stress so very much that I at no point ever said Fent has no downsides with a pause after it that would allow people to take it out of context. I have not done that. Any work you want done, man? Okay, I really, really, really need a W. I need a financial W. The only way we really get a financial W chat is by specifically getting a uh, toolkit. We're not gonna get one of those anytime soon, I'm not thinking. Unfortunately, I probably should have done what I wanted to do and just spawn them in like spawn one in to start But I'm too deep in now and I'm not gonna so we need to find a stash essentially Till then We're kind of fucked. We have money, but we can't buy weapons Our weapon currently is good and we can upgrade it a little if we have the kit to do it, which we don't uh, so Best I can do is just buy more ammo we buy 90 rounds. Buy some food. Smoked sausage. No. Packs of old meat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, water. Two bottles. And then med kit. At least one more. Okay. This pistol's garbage. This MP5 is technically garbage. I don't really care about them. We're gonna get rid of them to lower our weight. We don't have a backpack to stow them in, so. Really, at this point, the issue is being light is better to me than having these upgrade kits, unfortunately. Like being light and having money when we don't have any means to upgrade anyways is better. So, yeah, kind of where I'm at. We need another Yodula. 
Doesn't this asshole want me to get him bread? <laughs> we don't- we need a backpack! We need another backpack! Okay, here's what we do. We need to buy this shit backpack off of him, specifically because I need a stash here. I need a stash here, because this guy sells bread, and every time I come here, he's gonna have a little more bread for me to buy. And if he's selling four every time, eventually I'll make my money back by giving him the quest. Okay, so we're gonna set up a stash right here for this guy. It's where we keep all of our bread. And all of our crafting materials for guns. Because we also can't use them. Here's a sample. Disassemble. Disassemble. I keep accidentally dropping the bullets. Disassemble. 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 Probably need to get more hollow point rounds. Oh, hell yeah. Now that's lightened me up. And that's, now that's the good stuff. Hey, do you sell fucking grenades? Do you sell like, just tons of fucking grenades? I gotta kill a guy. And I'm gonna need bombs to do it. I don't think he does. really need grenades if I'm gonna kill Strelok. <laughs> or AP rounds. You sell AP rounds? You like me? Enough to sell me AP? No. I'm gonna buy another 30 HP because I have no shotgun and I probably won't for a long time so far. God, we are squalor. Would a suppressor help? If there was a suppressor for my gun? Yeah, it would. But unfortunately, in order to get a suppressor for this gun, I actually need to modify it, I believe. I think there's a mod I have to do for it. I think. I need a PBS-1, which they don't sell here. I don't have to mod it. But I need a PBS-1, which they don't sell, and uh, they also don't sell a scope that goes on this. So... Yeah, but yeah, a sight would help me a fucking ton. Uh, but no. Our sights are very specific that we can use. But yeah, that's why I detach everything I see. Is there a which at where's a where's a doctor here? Does anyone know where the uh Oh, I need to actually buy this. What's the condition of this? 92%. I basically just need to buy a, uh, to buy a cleaning kit. Just like some, some paste. Something cheap. I already have some? No. Yeah. We need this so I can clean my gun. Cause if it breaks, so help me God, uh, we're fucked. But yeah, we don't- Monolith has no doctor, so I have to fucking repair my own broken arm. We don't have- we have a- we have a tourniquet, so I can just use that. And then I can- No, we're gonna save the fentanyl. That's for me, that's- that's for later. We're gonna save the fentanyl. But I will eat this sausage. We take the sausages because they eat instantly. Uh, they don't have an animation. So I can actually shoot and fight when I'm eating. That's the only reason I took it. Grisha Verbal, good to see you. Chat. I'm not a fucking coward, man. 
But I'm also not fucking going there. I won't do it. <laughs> you fucking thought I was gonna say I'm going to outskirts, dude. You fucking thought. You fucking thought for a second I was gonna say I'm going there. Yeah, right. No. Oh, are you fucking crazy? I'll instantly die. I will instantly die. I am willing to backtrack all the way again. Through radar, though. I am willing to do that. I think. I'm also willing to take the path into Jupiter, go to Lemansk. And when I get to Lemansk, grab that stash and eliminate those dangerous mutants and hope the radiation. There's only one part of Lemansk that's really bad for radiation. And it's if we go here. This place is inaccessible to me. I can't pass that. Uh, but if I go into the middle, I can clear that, get a bunch of monolith quests possibly. I think that's the best option. I think we go to Jupiter. We have the bullets now to survive the trip. I think that's what we do, chat. We're doing that. We need to just like, we need to toss such a wide net on this character to get quests and like things. I think we gotta, gotta go to Lamont. Plus, part of me is banking on the fact that if we kill uh, Mercs out there with the help of Monolith Boys, I'll be able to get a sight and silencer for my gun. Because Mercs will be the only guys that probably have stuff close to what I need. So we're heading to Jupiter. Goodbye, the P Mook. Goodbye. I'll be back one day. Huh? Music kind of freaking me out, man. Just checking these for like loose loot. Wow, cool. I got ra irradiated. Ne Neato. Cool. I turned a corner and got really, really irradiated. Neat. Maybe I'll grow like another arm. Nothing happens except radiation. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dude. I got that gamer glass so my eyes don't get hurt when I look at the lights behind the LED screen of this fucking PDA. I got a piss screen, man. This really does make it easier to see. It's so it's so easy to visualize what's happening. I think I make it shot like right now. Cuz there's my, there's totally still mercs downstairs, I'm telling you. There's mercs right over that hill. Like I would, I would say that of I might be the most killable character in the game right now. This is this is fucking PDA. <laughs> I spill, I poured it right. I, I dropped my freaking PDA right inside a big old fucking jar of lemonade. <laughs> a jar of it. PDA. <laughs> there might be bandits I can cash out on if I go this way. Seems greedy, but... 
The other option is fighting mutants. And it's usually spawn here. Yeah. We know where we're going. Wait, what happened to that infidel I had to kill? Did he move? There was one here. That was the exact terminology it used, too. Described him as a infidel. Fucking hear that? Someone's like shit in their pants. Oh fuck. This gun's not freaking loaded. I can't kill a guy like this. Bud, <laughs> why? Falling over. <laughs> Have you considered that fucking cliff being there, Jackass? <laughs> Fuck you! Really? Oh, he picked me up. I had to hope that he was coming up from behind and I would have time to get- I wanted to get him onto the straightaway and then light him up on the wall, but I had to pick a direction to do it. And he went the way I was hoping he wouldn't go. Damn it. Auto save- Oh, I'm loading a quick save. I think I need to, uh, load the auto save. I don't know how many more lives I have. This guy's been cursed. This has been a cursed character. Sin? Boy, skirt the nasty, <laughs> which sounds like some kind of like new age term the Zoomers would use to describe something horrible. Uh, um, he's he's not been the best character. I've had better. I've had better. Okay, maybe we don't go to fucking bully those guys. I should check how much health I have, or lives I have, though. Where do I find that again? I know it tells me somewhere. You have lives? Yeah, I'm playing on iron. I have, like, five lives, but I don't know how many I have now. Just die until you don't have any more. God damn it. Look, things I could have done better. This run. Uh, taking an SKS. This, uh, submachine gun's beans. I would have had a better time with an SKS and it would be easier to find a scope for it and other attachments. And that's been costing me. Uh, this gun's not a good- this gun sight isn't very good. It's cost me quite a bit. Uh... I know which way I'm not going is towards the fucking bloodsucker that way. But he'll probably find me. He'll probably come to me in time anyways. This place is crawling with creatures. But is this place crawling with guys? No. Which means it's crawling with loose items I can loot for food. 
because I'm poor. Oh, fuck yeah. What is that, a whole broken flashlight? Thought someone just nudged me. My knife isn't even strong enough to break that box. That's already done. Is it? I know for a fact I can figure out how many lives I have left, but I just don't remember anymore. That's why we fucking investigate these places, chat. Can of fucking tuna. Otherwise known as the only thing that keeps us alive. Also, by the way, I'm using the uh, mod that means that um, my stashes are carried over through multiple consecutive uh, runs. Um, the other thing that carries over this time are skills. Because I thought that would be interesting. So I think skills and stashes carry over through the uh, Iron Man runs. So that'll be, that'll be a fun thing if this guy really is done. Uh, I think I still have two lives. I think I have two left. I feel like it's two. I'm using, I'm, I'm guessing by feeling. And I feel like it's two. You know what I mean? Like I feel like it's two. What is th this? This isn't, okay, this is just a thing. It's not. It's not the fucking ecologist thing. You're the one that's hurt, not me, pussy! Get fucked. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, our anomalies don't activate on their own. <laughs> just for just for the record, that's how you tell if there's a bloodsucker around, is if an anomaly is pinging for no reason. There's probably a second one, though. And that was my only HP round. So uh, we kind of don't want to fight another one of those because I had to use a whole Mac to beat that guy. 20 left. Then again, half of those bullets were stray. You can check lives in the PDA. I know, but can you tell me specifically where? Because I think it's in statistics, but I don't know the, uh, the window. I kind of need to know. Guides. Death count, two lives. That's what I thought. And we get another one in 10 in-game hours. Uh, which do not include sleeping. Just for the record. Gotta be careful here. I know for a fact cats spawn here. Zombies. That's going towards the... That, we have to go towards the zombies. Unless we want to fuck with those bandits still. Which I don't really want to. Considering they hit me one time earlier and it fucking trunked me. I'm accepting the radiation over burning the uh, bullets on these guys and risking getting hit. Because I need to drink water anyways. I'll smoke at the same time. Yep. 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 E yep.
We do have to fight through the bandit shithole, by the way. That is still a thing. So I was trying to save bullets and not get hit. That place is gonna be crawling with them. In fact, I can see them from here. Go attack the bandits. We're gonna go wide. I'm not fucking with that. Which means I'm probably fucking with bloodsuckers right now? If I had to guess, this place is probably crawling with... There's one after me right now, I think. I think there's one after me right now. Son of a bitch. Okay. Dude! Getting hit in the head is so bad, man. I think they can shoot through this, too. Am I good now? No, I'm still blurred. God, I literally can't see unless my head is cured now. And my- oh my- I have to actually- I have to actually fix my whole body to fight right now. Because my aim's fucked too and this gun has no sight. Hang on. I don't think they're crazy enough to come to me. No, they're totally crazy enough to come to me. We're taking the, let's see, slight dizziness. Severe dizziness. We're taking the fentanyl. I'll take dizziness over blurry. They're on the other side of a fence, so that guy's gonna just keep locked onto me. Yup. Fuck you. Guy's also down. He's dead. I don't have a shot on that guy to kill him. That guy might be throwing a grenade at me. They're shooting where they think I'm gonna poke out. That guy's gotta die. He's reloading, he's dead. Yeah, he's done. This guy's using a shotgun. Let's find this box. Relax, man. Relax. Keep hitting his leg, he's just gonna die soon. He is just gonna die soon. I have to kill this guy. He's gonna get up soon. There he goes. Am I psycho enough to lunge this guy? Maybe? Uh, he has a shotgun. But he might have fallen over. There he is. Trying to be so careful with those cats. I'm sorry, what? Okay. I have to ignore that guy for now. Because there are people here that are ignoring me and I want them dead before they notice. <laughs> Everyone relax!
At least one guy's still alive. I know because they told on me. I hate this place, dude. It's like fucking, it's just crawling with bandits. It's just crawling with bandits. Crackhead raids base. This place is also crawling with radiation, which is the other problem, so I can't even, like, really push in to get them. Like, look at that. I can't go in. Let's go around. But I want to loot these guys. But I can't do it if there's a guy in here. So I have to basically follow the perimeter. I'm going to try to save. Look, I don't know where you are, man, but I don't want any trouble. I know I killed everyone you know and love, but I mean, fuck you. Stay the fuck, just stay away from me. Time to save some money using uh, someone's shitty fucking shotgun. <laughs> There's a cat over there, like a, like one of the enemy ones that's meowing like a real cat to try to bait me into going towards it. And I'm not gonna fall for it. I'm not that stupid. I'm not that dumb. This is totally abandoned in there, dude. But he's being pretty chill, which means he's probably going to shoot me any second now. But, I mean, I can't go in after him. So I'm just going to ignore him. I guess. I'm just really glad we're running into MP5s because that's bullets from my gun. Technically. Wait. Hang on. You, do, you guys think you'd fall for it? Well, everyone, looks like we finally caught that guy, that rascal. That killed all of our boys. I took him down, all right. Oh, shit. He still has... Oh, he's still... All right, I got him. All right, we can come out now, guys. He's dead. That, that jerk is dead. We should all show ourselves as a collective team and have a moment of silence in the open for our dead brothers and sisters. All right? All right? All right? All right? Boys? All right, boys? All right? Right? Am I right? Boyos? Boys, am I right? Maybe I'm just paranoid. Maybe there isn't another bandit here. Always trust your fucking you always, always trust your fucking gut. Because you might have a rookie idiot who doesn't even know all of his friends are dead. Where there's one, there's two or three. I can't believe I don't have any... I only have two... I only have one shotgun round in this thing. This is a one shotgun. But that guy shouldn't clock that I'm an enemy just yet. But, here's the issue. I need to go buy him. <laughs> so, unfortunately for him, someone's fucking dying today. <laughs> In the way I see it, I might as well be him.
Wow, was it really that bad of a disguise? Ugh! Literally, who is that guy? Oh my god. He headshot me. Yeah, that was a headshot. That was John Stalker right there. Okay, here's my here's my new plan. See, now it's bullshit because now they all know I'm here. Despite the f intruder. <laughs> I need to get this outfit off. My real one back on. Drop that shit. This is my last life. Come out the door, pussy. There's a guy that's alive over there. He lost me. Are you kidding me? That guy actually lost me. He doesn't know I'm here. He, that's John Stalker, though. That's the guy who killed me last time. He's entered the radiation zone. He's in the, this guy, this is like when you are playing Tarkov and you're like a fucking level one and the other guy's a level 40 and you accidentally hit him with a headshot one time and you stun lock him. You stun lock him. He, that guy instantly dies. You did it by accident. You didn't mean to hit him in the head with a Mosin. And he's dead. I got mosin by a fucking goon. And now I don't know what to do. He's somewhere in the complex, alive and well. He's in like a box. Motherfucker, I, I am actually baffled. I'm baffled. I don't have the radiation resistance to go in there and look for him. Even touching this place is poison to me. Like going near a box. I hate these people. I hate John Stalker. I hate him. Hey. I'll see you later, John. I said I'll see you later, John! Freak! Look, he takes eight bullets to the face! No wonder he lived! That was the repairman. That's why he lived. Still another guy. I don't want to leave. I just want to rot. I want to rotate in such a way that I could try to make sure that there wasn't a guy around the corner. I know there's a guy still alive. There were two in here last time. But last time I turned this fucking corner, I got headshot instantly. Ripozo, dude. It's <laughs> a lot of fucking bandits. I was really hoping that would explode. You know. Do you have a grenade in my hand, you're a psycho! <laughs>
I pulled the pin, dude! You guys are freaks! Everyone relax! Everyone fucking relax! Man! What the fuck is going on? You're all dead, right? Dude, I used every bullet I had getting through these fucking maniacs. And there still might be another one. What is happening here? Just chill. You gotta be kidding me. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, go to mama. Go to fucking mama. Go hang out with mama. Alright? You fucking animal. Why are there- Why were there so many bandits? I've never seen that. This place was like a clown car zone. What the fuck? I don't have gear anymore. Bandits spawn in dark areas. I still feel like there might be one behind me. Like, I think there might still be one here. This is why I wanted that fucking psycho axe. At least I get this free workshop now. The grenade guy was a maniac! That was a maniac! <laughs> Punched me in the face after I pulled the pin? Alright, we got an anomaly map, that's cool. Look at this guy, this is like, dude. Is that fucking Chris Redfield? <laughs> Chris? Fucking Neanderthal looking ass motherfucker. What a freak. <laughs> That dude, that dude's big. That's a huge neck. I mean like, now I'm good cause like the next zone is all monolith. But we have no, no bullets. Did the game crash when I fucking did that? The game crashed when I opened the war- Oh my god. Oh my god, I didn't save yet. Okay. Chat, how do I disable campfire saves? As in like, through the mod thing? Cause uh, I need them off. Cause I, I, I like the campfire thing, but it's been crashing a lot more and having a lot more issues for me lately. I know there's like an advanced setting I can do to turn that off and I think I just need to. I think I just have to turn it off in config. Uh, what's the thing for it? Which one of these? Yex. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I. If, if stuff gets smoother over time, different story. But like right now, it's it's just causing too many issues. Especially since we're playing on Iron Man, it's not like, it's not like we're cheesing anything because we're in Iron Man. Like, that's kind of the difficulty as it is. And that set me back so fucking much. Let me see if it's still working. Okay, it is saving. God damn, I gotta fight through these guys again now. Well, now I know they're all in there. Yeah? Check this one out. Asshole. Kill the guy. Bounced it!
poke. Poke your head out. Yeah, that's gonna happen to you too. You peek your fucking head out again, asshole. I'm sorry, did you just fucking blind fire? Need fucking water. He didn't peek. Yeah, I know. I just glitched through the door, but that happens all the time in anomaly. Here comes another one. I mean, I'm not peeking my head out. I'm gonna let them all come right here. Dude, can this thing get off a of fucking- I just want on semi, dude. Oh, you guys only figured out now that I was Sin? You guys are fucking dumb as doorknobs, man. What the fuck? Nah, they were attacking me before. They just must have thought I was a bad bandit. There's still another guy alive. There's also one that's crying. Sanyok Wrinkle, I know it's you. I just got the tweet. I, I, I'm i on your Twitter, Sanyok. Just fucking toss your gun out the door and the other eight guns in there and I'll let you live. Yeah, I can still see you live tweeting, dude. Don't listen to what I'm doing right now. Okay. Now be cool. Okay. You fucked up now, Sanyok. That was a test. That was the only trust test you were gonna get, dude. That was a big fuck up. God damn it, dude. Well, I technically used the same amount of bullets twice. <laughs> Actually, I may have saved some. I spent like a bunch of bullets last time shooting at this propane tank that wouldn't explode. Even though I thought it would be so cool if it did. Save. So technically, stuff went better. I grab Sanyok's uh, phone and I type in Rip Bozo with a picture of me standing over his dead body. Rip Bozo, dude. Hey. Rip fucking Bozo, man. Rip Bozo. What a, what a miserable zone this is. Alright, goodbye. Bye, Chris. Okay, so here's my hopes with this place, and the reason I wanted to go. There should be a ton of monolith here and a ton of uh, mercs. If stuff's good and not too irradiated, we can talk to a bunch of the monolith and get a bunch of quests. Because this place is crawling with them all the way up until like, what? The exact point where those mutants are? And we have like stashes to pick up. We just can't go past there because that's like the death zone. But we have like a building or two to hang out with monolith and see if maybe we can get something decent. Hey man. Eliminate enemy forces. That sounds like a deal. Uh, I God, I wish there were more trading guys here. So yeah, those guys are also right where I know they are. Right where I guess I knew they were. Hey man, what's up? Any work you want done? No? Do you know where this, there's a stash around here? You know that? 
Oh, looks like those mercs might be killing the, uh... Yeah, mutants for me. All right, cool. And it looks like the monolith are also involved. Someone's gonna die. Someone's not. And the mutants will probably die no matter what. Good for me. How the fuck am I gonna find this stash? Hang on. Bridge outposts is all it says for me. Can't fixate on the stash. Ha, oh boy oh boy. Wonder where this one is. It's behind us, technically. Which means... Oh. My leg's fucking broken. Oh, good. Oh, yes. Uh, what's the best thing as I have for that? I used my fentanyl. I have Vinca. Which technically heals. It says it heals some torso, nothing else. I'm just not gonna run for a bit. Stash should be in here. This is gonna get loud. Cover up yours. Come on. This should break. Unless this one doesn't, there must be another entrance on this one. <sighs> that one might not actually break. I have to use the fu I actually have to use the goddamn Yajalin. Damn, man. It's so frustrating considering the context of why. Alright, there's the actual entrance. You guys want to see something epic? Ow! Okay, we, we're gonna go around the normal way. Which way? I totally... My brain is like goo. I remember I have to go this way, but I don't remember like the fucking route I'm actually supposed to take. I, it's been ever, ever since I've gone to this place. Where's like the hole? It's inside the house, isn't it? Oh, the mercs died. Oh, that's huge. I should go down there instead. Hang on. Mercs are all dead. We're going down to loot them before Monolith take all the loot. Go, go, go! This is the only chance we have to get a W! Is there a goddamn side creature here too? Is that what's happening? Because now I'm starting to get a little wary from the sounds that there might be some kind of creature. That doesn't open. I was fooling you guys. Okay, so... According to the game, there's still uh, creatures out here. No, I want you to load up the FMJ, man. But the monolith what? They documented it. It was it was it was known. It's known that the monolith won this fight. And it says whatever's attacking us is... Okay, guys, is there actually a mutant here? Or is it just that oh, I'm handing it in? That makes a lot more sense. Right? Is one of you guys like a zombie? Oh, no, I'm handing it in. Job's done. I did it. Dude, relax. Okay. Fuck off. Where's the, where's the mercs you guys killed? Are they, like, too far up here? I'm too late. Well, they left the PDAs, which might, for me at least, be the most valuable part. I'll check around this corner. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be actual mercs here that try to kill me.
Nah, they're super dead, dude. It's funny because I'm about to be super dead with how much radiation I'm soaking. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> well, I'm gonna be fine, Chad. Everyone calm down. I am gonna ask these guys if they have any quests they want done, though. Nothing. Nothing. <coughs> Nothing. Nothing. Man, you guys don't have any quests, huh? Really? None of you? <laughs> Nothing? <laughs> Nothing. I right, fuck all of you. This, uh, this trip out this way is starting to feel like a bit of a wash. Starting to feel like a bit of a wash coming all the way out here. Hopefully that stash gets me something good. I need to check these PDAs I've been collecting. Hang on. That's my... One of these was my PDA. No fucking idea which. Oh, this is the one that's... Okay, so this one's mine. Now huck it on the ground. This. Okay. This one was mine. Uh. Fucking Christ almighty. I think they're both technically the same thing. I think they're both... Yeah, we're dealing with both of these PDAs are, uh... Serving the same purpose. Uh, let me view them instead. This one's locked. We're never gonna open it. Yo, Vaja. Mark's here. You took some of the diet sausages I was saving, didn't you? Don't think I'll let this one pass. The doucheman wants to see you, by the way. So make sure you check what he wants. No one... Look, here's the thing. I'm not even sure there's much reason... Uh, for me to use, um, any of these, P like, keep any of them for, um, any kind of information. Because I don't think anyone, I don't think anyone at Monolith buys information. Genuinely. So, I think I should just be disassembling them. Because if I disassemble them. Oh, whoa. That chest was full of a lot of stuff. Uh... And they'll buy them, but disassembling them might give me better overall stuff in the long term. Either way, we got some more boxes to crack open. This is definitely safe, don't worry. What did I fucking tell you? That is why we open these boxes, okay? A lot of people skip these things. A lot of people skip these boxes, and I don't know why they do it. There's so much shit in every box in this game. It's like half the money I make when I play. That was a fucking military stim pack. And that's another magazine full of porn. See, the trick is we just don't want to die before we, like, sell this porn to someone who needs it. Because at a certain point, we look like the most down bad motherfucker that this goddamn, like, zone has ever seen. When we go down with, like, an entire goddamn, like, season, like, years worth of porn mags. I look, it makes me look nasty, alright? It makes me look like a dirty boy. What's up? Job's done. Eight? thousand dollars i didn't do anything i mean thanks yeah you have a good one i gotta do this careful because the thing i'm looking for might also be up here oh fuck <laughs> i can see stuff up there i have to get this let me up Literally, my stash was up here. What did I say? What did I say? All right. Some ammo. A 
I mean, next stop is- Caught my gods in a can of tuna. Holy shit. Never seen a guy quite as lucky as me. No, sir. Systamine? What the hell is systamine? Substance functioning as a radio protector used to weaken the effects of radio- Dude, I'm getting some good fucking stuff. Okay. Whoa! What's up? Any jobs? No. No one ever fucking does, dude. Because you want to know why? You're all just fucking, like... You're actually distraction characters. You're made to just be a set piece. That's all you are. That's why, uh... That's why you don't... That's why they don't have any quests. They're set piece characters. And now that I've done it... Uh, where do we go now? I technically made money. I got a stash. Uh, I think the next place I'd go is to Jupiter and then to Red Forest and get that stash there and go back to the Sin Cave. I guess. Imagine being called a set piece character by Tomato. Yeah. yeah, I know it. I know it's rough out here, but it's truthful. Okay, it's truthful. Not everyone has what it takes to be a main character and have main character energy. Or even side character energy. I would describe a side character energy as someone that has a quest, at the very least. Like, I I may not be a protagonist in real life, but I'm at least a side character. You approach me, I will give you a quest, okay? Just I'm just saying for like anyone that- where the fuck did I just choose to go? I think I went the way I was supposed to. Yes. Look, all I'm saying is you approach me? I will give you a quest. I will give you a quest. I'm not saying you live. You do it. But I'll give you one. What the hell left of these shoes? And Oh, that's the outfit of that guy. Let's get the hell out of here. Next destination is... It's a red forest. We're gonna get that stash in the middle of red forest. That's safe. And you know what's the most fun part? We gotta go down Hell Road. Remember that bad road? The really bad one that was like crawling with like horrid creatures. Yeah. I'm repairing my clothes. They're not much, but they're all I have. I need to take good care of them. Please don't jam. Thank you, God. That gun should not have shot. That should have jammed. There's another one. Good news is they're gonna be so scared by what happened to their friend, they won't attack me while I drink this juice. I love shotguns. I'd really love to have this thing repaired. It's not gonna get repaired anytime soon. But, uh, I'm happy to have it for emergencies. So I have to go in from the road here because I think this place is technically mined. Or at least it wasn't like appropriate. I never play in this zone when I play Gamma or like Anomaly. I feel like this place has landmines. So I'm gonna take the road. It might just been that I saw the sign when I was younger, when I was a kid, clock the landmines or something, and then been like, haha, nope, and just like followed the road from that point onwards. It was just ingrained in my head that it was always landmine, even though it wasn't. You see? As long as you follow the road, you're safe as can be. But you stray from it, and you're dead as heck. Wait, huh? Um, that's new. We're okay. That's dirt that got here separately. There's no landmines here either. That'd be stupid. Okay.
Hey, I got a specific question that people that have played Gamma will know what I'm talking about. Everyone else will just like question mark. How do you drive the cars in Darkscape? Because I climbed in one earlier and I couldn't make it go. And then I had to walk through Darkscape instead. You press six. Neato. That's a new thing, wasn't it, when I played last, I don't think. This campfire's lit, that means someone was here. I'm not on the sin side of town yet. Wait, no, this campfire is not lit. Nothing. I gotta get out of here, this place is... I, don't, I gotta get out of here. Wait, that guy! Did that guy knows I'm here? Hold up. Yo, this could be my chance to really kill that guy. Oh. My friend! Okay, you point a fucking gun at me again, I'll kill you myself, okay? Just, just for the record. Okay, I'm gonna try to go in here and see if this guy locks the door again or if I can get him. Because I really want to get him. I really want this guy fucking dead. No! You're lucky. You're a lucky, 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 luck boy, I'll tell you what. But we'll see how lucky you are. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, hey, Sin. Sin boy. I just wish the radiation wasn't on places I need to walk to, like, talk to people. You know, it's like I shouldn't be encouraged to smoke all these cigarettes. You know, I shouldn't, I shouldn't feel encouraged to do this. <laughs> Where's my stash? Are you fucking kidding me? This is how we die, is getting this stash. This is actually suicide. It's gonna be for like two dollars. I don't even remember how to get to that spot. Where's the ramp to get up there? Don't I have to go around this whole thing? Oh fuck. And the mutants are there. I'm not gonna die because I've never died. Not in Red Forest. It's always just something stupid. <laughs> hey guys. Guess trying to get to that stash too? Well, it's mine, so don't bother. Also, the, I think there's an actual camera coming up. So, like, just be warned if it is up there, I'm running it back. Just so you know, I'm pretty sure this is a camera. I would actually describe it as almost certain. So I heard a chimera growl, but I also see a ghost. But it's a lightning ghost, which is bad. Dude, but here's the fucking thing. Fuck you. Okay, I don't think I can do this right now. <laughs> There's not... I just don't really know what it can do. There's nothing to throw. Is it just going to shoot me with lightning? You guys want to fucking help me? You know what, the important thing in these situations is to be confident in yourself. And that's why I'm going to walk through this zone.
So I got these two guys over here that I want you to hang out with. Oh, come on. Why did he walk right? Dude, no fucking way. The aggro actually fucked me. Because he turns to attack them. And I jumped right onto him because of it. I think that's it. I think I'm done. I think that's my character. Yeah, that's him. Well, at least I saved bread for the next guy. And they killed the ghost. God damn it! Why couldn't I be them? <laughs> okay, so the next guy, Chet. The next guy? Not tonight. The next guy. Will probably be once I can get that warfare thing working. I really want to do something with warfare. But I need a little bit more time to do that. That's going to be like the next thing. It's either going to be that or once I've made sure that the zombie thing works. Because I don't really want to do UNISG again. I did it as best as I really want to. But uh, I think that would be the next thing. I reckon. But yeah. Uh, I've gone on long enough. I need to get food. It's been five hours. Sorry I couldn't have gone a little bit longer for this one. But I do really, really, really need to eat. Uh, I will be back tomorrow. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow yet. I know on Wednesday, I'm doing War Tales with Sam and G-Mart. Uh, that's a co-op, sort of like Battle Brothers-esque game. We're doing the co-op thing for that is out now. So we're going to do that. It should be fun. It's like a kind of like, I think it's like a mix between like Battle Brothers and like Darkest Dungeon kind of stuff. Uh, it should be fun. Should be a should be a good time. I haven't played much of it, but uh, I don't know what's going on tomorrow yet. We'll f we'll see. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But yeah, keep your eyes peeled. Is Tomato gonna play Vintage Story again? A lot of these kinds of games, like this Vintage Story, they're all on the table. It's just like when I, it's really just truly when I feel like it. And Vintage Story, the issue with that one is I want to do it on the hardest difficulties possible, but um, I'm not going to do it until they add. I'm not going to do hardest difficult again until they add fucking footsteps. I won't. This is a message to the devs of Vintage Story. Get footsteps in that fucking game and not like some modder adding like the same footsteps down for every creature because they feel like it has to exist. It should already be the game. This is my message to you. Add footsteps. My ultimatum. My final message. <laughs> but yeah, nah. Gamma's awesome. I love Gamma. Uh, I love Anomaly. This is great shit. I'm going to try to get the Warfare version of it working because I really, really want to do that really badly. Someone someone in the Gamma community is like is making like a Warfare-focused pack that goes on top of this, and I fucked up installing it, I think, and it's also very alpha, but I'm going to see if I can get it. I'm going to see if I can get a version of it that's running on my computer so we can do that next time. If not, I'll come up with something else instead, but keep your eyes peeled. All right. Thanks for the gifted subs, donations, and bits, and etc. I appreciate it as always. I'll catch you all tomorrow at the usual time. Goodbye.